This is how a wee bear sits up. You ask me to have her eyes. They help a wee bear. Why waffle? Hacker, hacker! Las Vegas, Nevada, May 31st through June 2nd. Join a bunch of juicy hogs, a bunch of discord dorks, a bunch of pay pigs, a bunch of sad incels, a bunch of podcast nerds, a bunch of complete hacks, a bunch of stupid puppets, a bunch of fat losers. Nobody likes onions. Who are these podcasts? Tukey, B. Dabbler, Ray DeVito, Pat Dixon, Earl Skakel, and more. For a weekend of stand-up and live podcasts in Sin City, get your tickets now at Hackamania.com. What you gonna do when Hackamania runs wild on you? Oh. for a woman just like me. I'm totally not a loser and into guy stuff like wrestling. What's your favorite beef jerky flavor? Uh, whatever I get at Costco. Hi Perry, as another man made for a woman, what's your favorite guy stuff? Mine is oiling up and wrestling. Is your favorite guy stuff snowboarding? I'm an old school skateboarder, I bike ride. Um, favorite guy stuff. I don't know. Going to uh, uh, TGI Fridays and hanging out. Going to the Rainbow and hanging out. Going to concerts and hanging out. I don't know. I really don't have favorite guy stuff. Skateboarding is my favorite guy stuff, though. <clears throat> Has your son ever queefed in your face? Has your son ever queefed in your face? Queefed, queefed in your face? Has your son ever queefed in your face? Has your son ever queefed in your face? Queefed, queefed in your face? Has your son ever queefed in your face? Has your son ever queefed in your face? Queefed, queefed in your face? Has your son ever queefed in your face? So when the Pope opened his trip to Korea with a speech in English... Oh, dear God, make Rocco Burrow, one of his kids, a homosexual, please. And better yet, a transsexual, transgender, please, God. He sounded good for the record. He is working on his English. Oh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to just, you know, bury whatever hatch we have. Doodle, thanks for two bucks. Ignore the piazza pe potato. Don't play into his hand. I'm not. I'm done with the potato. Do you like the potato, Kate? No, I hate the potato. And I hate Tukey even more. Yeah, so do I. I do They're too. They're horrible, horrible individuals. So are you in uh are you in Manhattan or are you Get your dumb ass up? Cause it's time for Tukey soup. The taste is gonna move ya with OJ and Ralph. The taste will make you lose it when you pop it in your mouth. Juicy soup is gonna move ya. This ain't a show, but it'll do ya. Juicy soup, the taste, the taste, the taste is gonna move ya. Yay! Do, 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 da, do, 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 Hello, everybody. This is Tukey Soup, episode 31. Yay! It's fantastic. We've been away for a bit. It was fantastic to come home to no one shitting in my living room. You hear about all these squatters. You get very nervous. That's why Tukey had a house sitter. But you never know. The house sitter could 
be compromised. I would never do that to your living room, sir. How does John go months without living in that house? Not worry that someone's going to... He's got his biker friend to watch over it. Yeah, that's right. What did you hear the news today, sir? Biker orgies. What? No. Maybe. What? The guy in his building that he always gives his alcohol to cleaned his apartment for him while he was away. No. <laughs> yes, sir. Was he pissed? No, he was he was he was just bragging at how appreciative Guillermo was for all the booze that he gives him that he gets from Vince. Are you serious? That's insane. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Someone cleaned up John's disgusting mess. Another man had to clean up after him. Another man. <laughs> Another man taking care of John. A man who should have taken care of John. And a good friend of our show. The great crazy cabbie crazy cabbie has passed guest of this show sir guest of this show uh yes yeah, so was he on this show or be i think he was on be dabbling live yeah but we were the first to have him on uh a dabble verse show i had built a relationship with uh cabbie on instagram I actually was pretty upset when i heard the news my mom was uh she was like are you all right and i was like not really <laughs> really like tearing up because uh, i just found out that cabby died mm -hmm. i kind of regretted not responding oh. more to him oh yeah yeah I, I god damn it i was thinking the same thing he sent you like memes on instagram yeah and i always like thumbs up yeah. or smiley faces i know but i never sent memes back me now too bad so i spoke i spoke with his girlfriend and uh oh this body's not even cold yet no, uh, no. oj well, well you know i wanted to make oh. sure you know if she needed any help you know with oh. a GoFundMe or anything um she Go said that dick. she's gonna get back to me but she said that the best thing would probably to you know make a donation in his name to a charity so we'll figure that out yes Tukey for the Kids Foundation could really use some cash right now. So if anyone is looking to donate, <laughs> send yeah. in your donations. Super we'll chat here. We'll donate. Yes. We'll write a check. Super chat. <laughs> but no, I did uh I did pay Cabby for the um appearance he did on our show. I'm I'm bummed too that he only did our show one time and he did not want the money. And I was like, Cabby, take the money. We did very well, and uh, I appreciate you. And, uh, yeah, he was a really nice guy. Like, really, really nice guy. And uh, same thing as Cardiff. I went back to my Instagram, because that's where uh, Cabby and I had built our relationship. And I noticed he had kept sending me memes. And I never really responded. But same as you, I would thumbs up. But I did see the last thing I sent to him, and it was, you killed on Shuli's show. So I was glad the last thing I sent to him was a compliment because I really did. I really did like Cabby. It really did make me tear up. I was, I was upset uh, because he was, he was such a nice guy and he gave us so many memories on the Howard Stern show. For sure. 9-11. I always yeah. remember Cabby. 9-11. I always remember Cabby on 9-11. Exactly. He was awesome. He, Osama bin Laden. He's, he, he set the targets. Yeah. Somehow he like legitimized that, broadcast more with his knowledge of like the, the planes that were flying by mm -hmm. and like what you know what actions our military would take and uh, first responders and all that kind of crap really just uh i don't know just a great entertainer interesting guy cabby um i do have a favorite cabby clip oh awesome uh from his recent you know appearances in and out of the hack verse or dabble verse. This is when Cabby uh, was on uh, Joey C show. He was on a panel of like six people, <laughs> and Cabby asks a question. I'm getting kind of emotional again. Oh man, what do you think about me saying the word n***er? That doesn't bother me. Come on, don't don't I'm, say that. Don't say that, Cabby. Por favor. Por favor. Por favor. Por favor. Freedom of speech. Of course, he wants to say it on here. Thank you. Thank you. I fought for that fucking right. <laughs> I think it's more interesting that there was a time Dabble Storian was on Joey C's show. Yes. Dabble Storian, Joey C, Cabby bringing 
all the mortal enemies together. I want to play that one time, one more time, because right after Cappy says the word, just listen to Joey. Joey he isn't actually on the panel. I he's think in another room. Yes, he's in another room, and you hear him scream <laughs> off of Mrs. C's like where or whatever the fuck this is called. So I'm just gonna play this beginning again. Cause this seriously, this is this was one of the moments where I was like, oh, I'm so happy Cabby is here. He's made it. He found us. What do you think about me saying the word n***er? That nah, doesn't that bother me. Oh, come on. <laughs> don't don't I'm, say that, Cabby. Don't say that, Cabby. All right. Joey C actually was in the upper corner, but he wasn't really on mic. But yes, he was in like another room. Oh, one of my favorite uh, crazy Cabby clips by far. <laughs> Speaking of Joey C. He got a little emotional about Cabby. That's what I hear. Yeah, that's what you told me, OJ. I did get a text message from Joey C last night. What was it? Uh, yesterday afternoon, or whenever uh, everyone got the news, and he said, "Crazy Cabby died last night." I had him on as a correctional host more than anyone. He was my friend. You were the first show to bring him on. A correctional host. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Crazy <laughs> Cabby died last night. I had him on as a correctional host more than anyone. He was my friend. Was he typing co-host and like auto-corrected? Because Probably. he's always typing letters of the correctional services or something? <laughs> Probably. You were the first show to bring him on. So, you know, Joey taking this extra hard. Uh, and then, yes, OJ, you told me today that he... Uh, he had an emotional outburst on a bit his of an emotional breakdown. Emotional breakdown, if you will. Let's watch. Yeah, that text was from the heart, man. I was so blessed to become friends with Cabby, man. Me and him, he would call me at 6 30 in the morning. I got a new knife in the mail, man. I got this new phone in the mail. He would just call. I got all this new podcasting equipment. He was so excited. He goes, I'm gonna send you pictures. I had a great relationship with Cabby, man. He was my friend. I I just couldn't get him to understand that he couldn't say some of the things he did on the podcast because it would kill the channel. And I regret not ha the last three times I wanted to have him on. I just couldn't. So Joey is obviously talking about uh, my favorite clip of Cabby saying the N word because yes, Cabby <laughs> did not care about what he said <laughs> on his channels. I am Hawk. Joey killed Cabby. Oh man, yes, he did. That that is a alleged rumor. That Joey did kill Cabby. I personally do not believe it, but here at Tuki Soup, we always report every rumor because we assume and you correct. Mm -hmm. But yes, we'll listen to every rumor. We'll 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 <laughs> we'll think we'll accept every rumor as fact, even if it's just for five seconds. Uh, John's neglected cat, sad daddy. Joey killed Cabby. Confirmed. Oh well, there it is. It's confirmed. I mean, his stat his stats are accurate. So this is horrible. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Gagoots try to uh, squeeze some tears. <laughs> wife beater. Look at that wife beater. <laughs> Holy shit! Looks like it's gonna tear apart like Hulk Hogan. Without Joey really doing it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Because you know, I couldn't stop him. I had to let him be Cabby. I had to let Cabby be Cabby, man. But we're gonna have a whole segment on Cabby. Thank you. I'm tired of people thinking I'm such a bad person, man. What? This took a turn. I'm not. I'm a good person. I made mistakes in my life, but I'm nothing like that piece of John. Uh-oh. Come on. Cry. Come on, Chinky. That's the piece, Gabby. What is he doing? <laughs> He's got a tack under his toe. Yeah, he just keeps stabbing his toe. <laughs> He's really He's trying. Really... He's How about uh, we uh, just? I'm coming on your show tomorrow. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let's see here's one for you. All right, go ahead. How about privately? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Nobody knows about it. 
It's not going to be documented. All right. Your dumbass husband is. Not- That's definitely John. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Is this the? Is this when John said he was going to kill him or something? No, I think this is when he was trying to bang his wife. Yes. Oh, he's trying to bang Mrs. C. Yeah. Holy crap. That's like trying to bang that female gremlin from Gremlins 2, the new batch. Not exactly, sir. She's like a slightly younger Sandy Kane. She's a ghoul. Very nice. Very nice. And yes, has sir. a handshake like Mike Tyson. But I mean, John, you're kind of like, I mean, no disrespect, Joey. You know how I feel about you and Mrs. C. I think you're both very talented and very beautiful on the inside. But, John, I mean, really? Uh, see, Joey, I'm kidding. I, I, I'm i okay, John. I'm good. Did you cry again, OJ? Or was that no, it? that was it. That was it? Yeah. Oh, Joey, you stink at fake crying. Anyway. <laughs> So that's it. Rest in peace, our good friend, Cabby. Sorry, Joey yeah. C. killed you. Alleged. It was inevitable, though. Alleged. Yes, it was inevitable. Hackamania is right around the corner. Promo code Tuki. That is the best promo code, sir. It is. Not that other, uh, all those other hacks and their stupid promo codes. Mm-hmm. But yes, use the promo code Tuki. And uh, I know everybody uh, is excited for Hackamania, and there's a lot of uh, misinformation about yes, Hackamania. Let's, let's be honest, sir. If they don't use a promo code Tuki, uh, Tuki's getting cut from the bill. So yes. Use that promo code or else. There is a rumor. I've heard a rumor that Tuki is in the promo code lead. That means Tuki sold two tickets. This is fantastic. Congratulations, sir. Oh, I have no idea. We were kidding. I'm, I mean, come on. This is going to be a fantastic weekend. Um, but yeah, uh, I know everyone Everyone keeps talking about, oh, what, they're already trying to give out discount tickets? That's because the ticket prices went up, stupids. So now we're just saying, hey, if you want tickets back at, you know, the original prices, use the promo codes. And this is also how, you know, Melton can track who's actually doing their due diligence, which, by the way, I don't have my banner. So there it is. I believe it's called dynamic pricing, sir. Just like Wendy's. It's like Wendy's. Yes. Yes. We wait until there's a big demand. And then we boost up the prices. But no, Melvin was saying today he's actually thinking about changing venues because the tickets are selling so well. That's awesome. Amazing. So we want to get a bigger place. It's fantastic. Things are going so well. But everyone has to try and break us down. They got to try and break down Hackamania. I heard uh, Chad Zumach. We'll hear some Chad Zumach later. He has mm-hmm. some words to say about Hackamania, but we have some words to say about one of Chad's upcoming shows. Uh-oh. Here's a hint. While you're getting your discount at Jiffy Lube coupon, mm-hmm. you could get a buy one, get one free ticket to Chad's show as well. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's amazing, like, sir. Remember the entertainment books? Sure. Okay. Yeah, let's just say Chad. Chad is now promoting in the entertainment book. Wow. <laughs> Buy one ticket, get 50 free. That's, <laughs> That's what amazing. we're talking about over here. But uh yeah, so everyone uh everyone's excited about Hackamania. I am not so excited about our t-shirt contest. Oh boy. Why is that, sir? <sighs> well, it's done. I said the 31st is done. Maybe and quite to... frankly, I'm not happy with any of the design. <laughs> Can we extend it a little bit? Or, Well, now that I have <laughs> this giant Tukey costume that I have to bring, I'm kind of wondering how I'm going to get, you know, ship things or whatever. Uh, right. Check them. I don't know. But I will say, okay, I'll show you some designs. All the AI ones are disqualified. We're not using AI. Disqualified. They're disqualified. It's not fair to the people who actually did something. So I don't know everyone's names, but like here's someone that I believe did something. I think this is like actual original art. 
I mean, it could be AI. I don't know anymore. But that looks kind of cool. It's definitely AI, sir. Canceled. Canceled. You lose. Tuki does Vegas. It's uh, Tuki with a uh, giant Tuki. It's all. I think I'm. Oh, it's actually, I think it's supposed to be Tuki as the sphere. Possibly. Yes, yes sir. That's the light of our lives. Yeah, this one's pretty good. I actually just noticed that. It's not. Surface? Yes. It's not uh, technically correct. The sphere is not that big, sir. Well, no. So it should be disqualified on technicalities. But it does. Yes, yeah, it's disqualified. It's not to scale. Yes. Yeah, so no, this is actually. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm rethinking now. Thinking if I could be a winner. If yeah. I could buy, advise you, sir, for Hackmania to fly into Vegas at night. Uh, I'm flying into Vegas actually early in the morning. Oh, it's very impressive at night with that sphere. Oh, sure. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, that's a good call. I think I'm leaving in like the early afternoon on Monday, so I won't be there. But maybe there'll be an eclipse, sir. Maybe. Oh, we have some clips of that. Holy shit. <laughs> Ray DeVito does not know what an eclipse is or a clip. <laughs> I mean, very stupid, sir. He very really stupid. is very stupid. <laughs> so anyway, this is uh this is a great design. Again, I don't know. I don't know if I want to make shirts. I because that's the other thing. If I don't sell all the shirts, then I got a bunch of Tukey Vegas shirts. It's like oh I believe someone advised you to do a pre-sale, sir. Yes, someone did. I don't remember who it must have been El Haribli. Must have so been. smart. But uh no, this is actually a pretty good one. I didn't give it enough credit the first time I looked at it, I guess. But uh, no, this is great. Uh, so uh, let's keep going. There's another uh, design that's not bad. This is not bad. I think it's, okay. it's not good either, sir. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. I'm just like, do I want to put out the money, you know, to make shirts? And again, not to say it's a bad design or anything, but... Viva Las Hackas. Again, if I don't sell them all in Las Vegas, <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do with those? I, I, like, I kind of like this one. Yeah, I like it. I mean, that's again, it's not bad. Sir? Yes? I think you have to make the shirts. Shit. Because one day I want to see Guatemalan children in ah, Viva no. Las Hackas shirts. Viva Las Hackas. Okay. I want them crossing the border wearing that, sir. <laughs> All right, I think I also have, like, colored ones of this. All right, so maybe I will put up some favorites and have people vote. I don't know. I'm bad at contests. I hate contests. It needs to be green. Uh, hack ass. Yes. Uh, all right, make it green to the person who made this one. Uh, I think this was Gummy Chainsaw. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, make a, make a green one. But, yeah, I'll, I'll put them up somewhere that people can uh, – you know, vote. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Can't you just put them up somewhere Shut and up. make their own shirts, sir? Oh yeah. Well, oh yeah. We'll like. do that. Well, I mean, I could always put them on the T Public site and have people buy them there. But again, it kind of it ruins the. You know, I wanted to have special T-shirts just for Vegas. I will. I will also say make... it does suck trying to stand there selling T-shirts, sir. Yes. Well, that's what my mom would be for. <laughs> but yes. Finally, I, a duty she can handle. Yes. Uh, but said duty, sir. She did. Yes, you did say duty. <laughs> yes, Ralph, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that was I trying to say. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is, uh, but, the, you know, and again, uh, you know, if I make the T-shirts and sell them in person, I make a little more than $2. You it's know, as we hard. say, money before funny. That's I kind of like this idea. Like, uh, Truth Seeker knows take orders in person, have promotional displays, and ship later. Well, that's not a bad. Yeah, but people want a shirt. You know, they want their shirt there. That's what Star Wars did to me, sir. What? Didn't you hear? That's how they first sold the Star Wars toys. Oh, no. what? No, I know nothing about Star Wars. Oh, explain. Never mind, sir. Oh, it's I'm nerd sorry. shit. I ruined your joke. I'm sorry. I ruined your Black Panther party. They didn't have they didn't have enough they couldn't get toys in time for Christmas. Oh when Star Wars was coming out. Oh no. So they sold like you bought a coupon. Basically you got a coupon for a toy that you could mail away for later. For Lame. Mm -hmm. 
All right, here's one that's not bad either, actually, now that I look at it again. <laughs> again, I'm not saying any of these are bad. I just I don't know if I want to invest in making them a shirt. Yes, or good. But uh, this is a hack pot. We'll call this one hack pot. Let's see. A lot of things on here. There's a El Harible mask in the little siren light. It says hack pot. It uh, shows Very two subtle. key, two key the NLO onion. And who are these podcasts? says hackamania tukey nobody likes that it was las vegas and then there's two poker chips in the slot machine which would break the slot machine if you tried to force mm -hmm. poker chips into it i would say sir this one would be a winner if the arm on the uh, slot machine was a penis sir yes <laughs> yes so whoever made this you drop the ball but no, uh, no, this is actually Darth Nugs. Now that I look at it, it's fantastic, Darth Nugs. I'll put yeah, that up yeah. there. We'll put that up there too. Uh, again, I don't know where you'll be voting for these, but you'll vote for them somewhere. Uh, I got a couple more, and I just okay. noticed, sir, the WATP logo, the silhouette looks eerily like the potato. Oh, did it? It did. It was weird. Let me see. Let me show that again. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, down there on the bottom. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're right. Because as the headphones on and you can't really make out that's a trash can. It does look like a potato. Oh, wait, I'm not showing it. <laughs> there we go. All right. Well, yeah. My fault, sir. No, it's my fault. Uh, all right. So that is uh, Darth Nug's submission. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Another fantastic submission. Thank you all for your creativity. Like we've said many times, uh, the Hackverse has some of the best and most creative people. Uh, these next two, I think, are disqualified because they're obviously AI. Uh, but I like the idea. If you actually drew this yourself, I think these could be winners. Like having Tukey on a slot machine. Oh, yeah, good idea. Cool. And then there's potatoes and oranges. It's actually a really good idea. But why is AI so stupid with words? Oh, like, yeah, the Tukey looks so dumb. Or R2, or Rusty. Like, what oh, is yeah, it? Like? Looking. What does it say? No, <laughs> yeah. down. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The details. Yeah, or Rusty. Yeah, what is that? Torfik. <laughs> Four to one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, know, I, I think this is a really good idea if you had the talent to, you know, actually do it and design it yourself. But uh, <laughs> like yes, Kinky Loco, Kinky Loco's right. None of these say "boom shakalaka." <laughs> it's a big, it's a big proponent we're missing here. I forgot that I got my uh, four-year-old sister to do a couple of "boom shakalaka" lines. <laughs> Could have had that in somewhere. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, he made another one, which again, it's just another AI Tukey slot machine. This one I don't think has potatoes on it. It has an orange. Thank goodness, sir. Thank goodness. Yeah, I like this one better than the last. Trukey. Right. Trukey. <laughs> I just love <laughs> that. Trukey. But anyway, uh, thank you for your submission. But yes, you are disqualified and uh, never allowed to enter another one of our poorly worked out, poorly planned games ever again. This contest is going to get your channel taken down, sir, for... I know that's what I'm worried about. Am I doing anything illegal? Probably, sir. Ah, no. Fuck, it was Steel Toe. Steel Toe consulted me. All right, uh, this is another one. This is one of those ones where you're like, I think this person understood the contest, but did they really? But uh, again, another AI. So either way, it's automatically disqualified. But it's just like Tukey, like the shiny. Is that what I'm looking at? I'll make a good Halloween shirt, sir. Yeah, yeah. Halloween poster. There's nothing Sweet. to do with Vegas or anything, really. But uh, they submitted it, so I show it. Uh, if you submitted a Tukey shirt and I did not show it, please let Tukey know at TukeySoup at gmail.com, and I'll uh, I'll add it to our uh, voting of whatever shit. Yes, always send two emails for everything. Yes. What? <laughs> no. No, sir. Two emails. Why would I want to deal with two emails? I can't keep up with one email. 
I'm sorry if I don't answer people back. The emails are starting to get a little overwhelming sometimes. <laughs> like, I don't know. I can't answer everyone back, but I want to. One um, of those people might die soon, sir. You should reply to them all. <laughs> to the guy. Yes, you're right. To the guy who asked if I would think about doing a clean Tukey show for children. I don't think so because I think that would be Tukey selling out. And I think that would start to create problems on YouTube for Tukey as well. But I, I do understand that you want to try also the and, racism, sir. And the race, yes. That's the thing. If Tuki starts to become a children's star, then Chad Zumok will be, oh yeah, we'll check out what this guy used to do. He's sick. He stands in his he's just in his basement playing with puppets all day and touching kids in his penis. And all the parents are gonna go, oh no, we can't watch Tuki anymore. So it's better that Tuki is just up front and talks about cum and eating cum and Kate Meany taking it up the ass and all kinds of dirty stuff like that. You know, because then you know, like I said, Tuki's not looking to sell out. Tuki's still looking to do this for fun. Uh, but if yes, yeah, someone wants to give Tuki a big check to do an adult show, that's a totally different story. We will do that. So you're saying no more straight kid stuff, sir? Oh, no. We're definitely doing straight kid oh, stuff. Okay. We're doing straight kid stuff forever. We actually have to do one soon. We do, you, you, you gave Babies. me an idea that was really good. I hope you remember it, sir. No, I do. I have it. Good, I, have it. I, I have it copied. I copied it. I have good. it. Don't worry about it. But yes, uh, I don't see Tukey going. But if you want, uh, Tukey has done many cameos for kids. And Tuki knows when to, you know, become a child-friendly monster instead of a racist, fuck-hungry monster. You're genius, sir. Thank you. Thank you. One of my reviews said he knows when to become Andrew Dice Clay or Mr. Rogers. So I appreciate it. Thank you for that review. I will, I will always remember that. I appreciate that. Uh, but yes, yeah, stop letting your children watch Tuki. If you don't want your kids to repeat horrible things, which will then send uh, child protective services to your house, <laughs> where they'll go, what is this tookie your children speak of? You know what they always say, sir? Shit, fuck, fart, fuck. Imagine that kid explaining the tookie origin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do they always say, Ralph? Since well, the horrible thing about tookies is what? tookies say horrible things. That is. Mm -hmm. Tookies say the most horrible things. That is why we are here. No, actually, if everyone remembers, Tukey is here because I wanted to prove that a puppet could be more successful than Chad. Yes, I think right. we did it. Hacka, hacka. Yay. Uh, I don't know, sir. What? Chad's opening for Nick Swartz and you're opening for Melton. Oh, oh, oh I know. <laughs> he might have you, sir. <laughs> did you see? <laughs> did you <laughs> Did you see Chad accidentally wore? Accidentally. Yeah, he accidentally yes. wore it. He accidentally Very left easy. his room <laughs> that early that morning. I assume the, the blackout shades, you know, they were, you know, in full swing. So Chad had to feel around. He's like, where's my backwards Cleveland hat? I need my black. Oh, man, I need my hat. People won't know me without my hat. And then he picked up the hat, and he, he didn't realize he had Nick Swartzen's purple prince hat or whatever the fuck that homo hat was that he was wearing. <laughs> so. I think it yeah. was a prince hat, yeah. Right? It was something like that. I, don't I know. believe so, sir. Speaking of prince, our friends over at, uh, what was that stupid show called? Your Mom's Boxer. No, Steel Toe, <laughs> from Minnesota. Oh, sir. <laughs> yes. Um, I hope you don't mind, but I was feeling a little ambitious today, and I decided to produce a segment. Oh, no, please. I've even created an introduction for it, sir. What? <laughs> Very exciting. I am, I'm speechless, Ralph. I had no idea that you were going to do this. OJ, maybe you should take some lessons from Ralph. Yeah, Ralph, going above and beyond. Definitely above and beyond. Please play I us. I really your... impressed you, sir. <laughs> Please play us your <laughs> introduction to whatever you make. So this segment is called, sir. Uh, am I the only one that doesn't give a shit about Steel Toe? I mean, I could give a shit. I really could give a fuck. Are you ready, sir? 
<laughs> yeah, but I think it's supposed to say couldn't give a shit. Could, oh, okay. No, no, you're fine. Yes, I'm ready. Uh, uh. Uh, that, like, am I the only one who doesn't give a shit about Steel Toe? I mean, I could give a shit. <laughs> I really could give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> he's the worst. Fantastic, but yes, that is that is our new opening to our Steel Toe segment. I haven't been covering Steel Toe because honestly, Melton covers them so much. He does such a wonderful job. He but really I, I, I did catch a little bit of them today, and I was very, very worried. Falling apart. They are falling apart. Apparently, if you were watching the Tukey pre-show with Melton, Melton covered, I guess, was that from tonight's show? That Steel Toe is now going to be April-less? I, I, I'm assuming so, yeah, because uh, our good... Beloved chatter, Citizen M was all over Twitter today. So I'm assuming, yeah, that all happened tonight. Yes, Ralph. I don't know if you heard, but April is stepping down her on air duties. Yes. With Steel Toe, at least for to most save, of the day. To save their relationship. To save the relationship. Yes. My God. Who would have thunk that working with your uh, wife? <laughs> Playing radio in your basement would lead to the turn. Can't believe it, sir. Seems like a perfect scenario. It did. It did. Who doesn't want to spend every waking hour? I mean, I do. Tukey does. If Tukey was married, of course. I, he I heard someone once had a plan to buy a, a big sleeper truck. What? So that him and the wife could just drive cross country and just do double shifts. What? <laughs> this is real? This is real? What? <laughs> when is this? Because one could drive for eight hours, and then the, they switch. <laughs> then the other, because oh. you could do 16. You could drive 24 hours straight. That's sick. The team. That's sick. Well, I mean, that, that pretty much cool. was what Steel Toe was doing. Yes. But, I mean, they were always, always on. Always on. Always entertaining. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. What does that mean, JT? What is he talking about? But uh, yes, uh, but maybe, maybe, maybe it's not these two's fault. Maybe it's our fault. Maybe we just weren't there enough. You we know, Carter. Goal, What's that? We didn't hit the goal, sir. No. It's Ralph, by the way. The it's yeah, Ralph. Ralph. Sorry. <laughs> yes, you're right. Now. The goal is a made-up thing. That I am Ralph, right, sir? Yes, you're Ralph. Okay, thank you. Now, the goal is a made-up thing that just seems to be a number that's been pulled out of the air. And it does happen literally every day. It's good to see you, Ralph. It, it does literally happen every day. So, I mean, maybe there's a little too much to ask from all of us. But come on, people. We need to do this. We need to do this now more than ever. These two are having financial difficulties, relationship difficulties, and look at all of us laughing at them, laughing in their faces. Because <laughs> they do a stupid morning radio show all day, every day, night, day, night, day, night, day, night, day, day, night, day, night. Melendez, Melendez, day, no, night. Stay. Stop, stop doxing John's family, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I was losing it a bit. Anyway, this one's a nail biter. We had $120 from the goal with only four minutes left. What are we going to do? Let's see how Steel Toe prevails. Or if they do, whoa. Uh, guys, we are 120 away from today's goal. Let's, let's knock it out. We're very close. Let's go ahead and have everybody chip in in these next 20 minutes and get that 30 minutes of overtime. We've got plenty. It's not even entertaining anymore. Now there's not even a song. He doesn't even have a song. He's just basically like, all right, we all have to chip in, stop being lazy and fucking pieces of shit, and open up your wallets and give it to me. 
far. Like, this is a show. How is this a show? We <laughs> have stuff we can do during that overtime period, but we're inside of the 20 minute mark and we are 120. Let me guess is one of the things that we can do in that overtime period, talk about how we have to give you more money so we can go into tomorrow's goal or tonight's goal or brunch's goal or your fucking Sunday blue plate special goal. How many goals are there? It never ends. (laughs) I don't think we'll ever reach the goal. Ultimately we'll always fail. $20 away. Streamlabs, PayPal, Super Chats, etc. We can get this. Disney Bucks, Starbucks cards, Target gift cards, American Express. It's done. <laughs> so in Northern California, they have this thing called the Bay Area Rapid Transit System. Got okay. It. I don't, About oh, the... So we did, we do end up hitting our goal. We do end up hitting our goal. I think I have the wrong time stamp, so I'm not going to stay on this very long. Uh because there is another clip I wanted to play where, again, Steel Toe has some misinformation about Hackamania because he brings it up. Brings it up just like Chad will bring it up later. Everyone's going to bring up Hackamania. Mm-hmm. And uh, so this is uh, this is what he had to say about Hackamania, brother. Kind of get it on screen, Tukey. Okay, hold on. Sorry. <clears throat> it's hard to do everything motherfuckers uh i lost my stream yard now okay there it is here we go all right here he is he's gonna explain that it is a hard road but we did hit the goal we hit the goal today it was scary but we did hit the goal thank god Da-da-da-da. here we go it's good good and done well i tell you what we got there. There you go. Sometimes it's an ugly road here on Steel Toe, but we get there. Yeah. All right, we got 25 minutes to give you guys some shit. I love this uh, Guyana president, by the way. Yeah, dude, that guy is awesome. Oh, thank you, Vaping Dago. Is Patrick having problems selling tickets to Hackamania 2024? <laughs> well, you know, if he wouldn't have ran away from my fight challenge, then maybe he would have sold some more tickets. That's too bad. I see that they're giving discounted tickets now. That's <laughs> never good. For sure. Oh, no. It's it's amazing though, sir, how it's almost like he has a box of topics ready to go if they hit the goal. Yes. It's like, oh, now I got all this stuff to talk about. But it's also amazing how much he knows about what's going on with right. Hackamania. There there are now promo codes. There are there again, but the prices for tickets went up. The demand is up. We're dynamic we're, pricing. He's looking into dynamic pricing, yes. But we're looking into a bigger venue. I don't understand. How can everyone say that shit is not working out? Like, it's working out great. Hackamania is going to be fantastic. Hackamania.com, promo code 2K. I would suggest to Aaron that he get a different shirt. Yes. Yes, because we have taken over. Hulkamania is dead. Long live Hackamania. But, uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't get all this. There's a lot of, a lot of people bashing Hackamania, but Hackamania is going to be the shit. Hackamania is going to be a lot of fucking fun. It's going to be three days of hanging out with all these, you know, all the fans, all the listeners, the content creators in Vegas. How could Ve- Vegas is never a bad time? It's fantastic. I heard Cardiff's going, sir. I did not hear that. I heard he's not going. Promo code Cardiff. <laughs> Promo code Cardiff. <laughs> Melton said if Cardiff can sell 50 tickets, he can come. Oh, that's a good so idea. Promo code Cardiff. That's a good idea. We should set up a Cardiff uh, promo code. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, I would love for you to come, or Card for Cardiff to come. Not you, Ralph. You have a lot of stuff to do, and no one's flying you out. No one wants you there. No, sir. But yeah, we're gonna do a special Tukey soup with Pat Dixon. It's gonna be fantastic. Amazing, sir. Could you want to miss that? I heard the potatoes gonna be on Pat Dixon's show tonight, sir. After. Tukey Are you serious? Soup. Yes, sir. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, cool. So everyone should go over there after this. So don't you have to like leave in 15 minutes then? Uh, well, Cardiff told Cardiff. me about midnight. Oh, about midnight? Okay. Well, you leave or you tell Cardiff to whatever. Just leave whenever you need to. Yeah, thank you, sir. I'll let him know. Hackamania. What's Hackamania? Oh, boy, that's not good. He doesn't know. Oh, no, your paraplegic fucking co-host doesn't know what Hackamania is. Who is this guy? The 17-year-old boy that does a show with you isn't yeah. sure. 
Well, before when you said oh, something about that Guyana president, he went, yeah. <laughs> I was like, hold on. I got to go back down. I, I was here on steel toe, it, but we get. What? Is, that, is that somebody that donated to them? The Guyana or. No, oh, I don't know. That's what I was assuming. No, I have no idea, but Leo, that's there. All right, we got 25 minutes to give you guys some shit. I love this uh, Guyana president, by the way. Yeah, oh, dude, that guy is awesome. Okay. Yeah, Guyana dude, that president. guy is awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you, Vaping Dago. Is Patrick having problems selling tickets to Hackamania 2024? Well, you. you know, if he wouldn't have ran away from my fight challenge, then maybe. But again, this whole running away from a fight challenge. I don't know if anyone remembers, but Steel Toe did put a fight boxing challenge out to uh, Melton. I think he even said he'll fly him out. Melton said, I accept. And then Steel Toe was like, oh, well, we weren't ever really going to do that. I mean, come on. <laughs> and then Melton, or then Steel Toe was like, hey, send us to Hackamania and I'll box you. And it's like, oh, fuck you, man. Who's, who's going to fly you out? Like, I, I don't know. I don't get it. But uh, yeah, so uh, he's he's very big on the fact that you know they sell out their live shows because they do all their live shows at the same biker bar where all the regulars just go to drink themselves stupid and watch your wife strut her shit. But your wife is going to be part of Steel Toe anymore. So let's see if you sell tickets to your live events if she's not there to take her clothes off for fifty bucks. <laughs> You think maybe that had something to do with <laughs> the whole relationship thing going bad? Probably. You, you think your wife finally realized, holy shit, my husband whored me out for 50 bucks. <laughs> I think it was and a go teaser. 50 bucks where YouTube takes out 30% for nothing, for doing nothing. So YouTube is also, is a, YouTube is Aaron's pimp. They're big They're on like, Rumble, sir. Oh, Rumble? Was that on Rumble? Huge on Rumble, sir. Oh, so they only Rumble only took uh twenty percent, I guess. Yes. Franklin Sheckler, invite April to Hackamania. <clears throat> That's all up to Melton. I do not. I have no. I do not have any power with Hackamania. But I will say, this this event is far from a failure. I mean, we're looking literally for a bigger venue. I mean, have you ever heard that? Oh, ticket sales are so bad. They need to get a bigger place. Like, that's never that's not a thing that's not how it works but anyway but uh let's see uh i think there's a little more of the clip i don't remember i was just kind of watching half ass half assardly is that a thing so is is he gonna explain what hackamania is to yeah i guess i don't know let's see maybe he would have sold some more tickets that's too bad i see that they're giving discounted tickets now that's never good hackamania that's... what's hackamania Oh boy, that's not good. He doesn't know. That's yeah, that's looking good. tough. I hope Carl can bail that whole thing out. Carl's the only one who can draw a crowd. So I know we're gonna sell. Uh oh, we're screwed. We're screwed. <laughs> we saw that's wrong. Yes, we we saw we're screwed. Oh no. No, there was a very large amount of people at the Largo event. It was just you know the venue just was larger than the large amount of people. It's it's okay that most of the people in the crowd at Hackamania will be trying to sell you CDs or get you to take pictures of them in costumes. <laughs> yes. And everyone is obese, so it'll look like there are way more people there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Maybe he'll explain, what is Hackamania? Sell out our anniversary show the way we always do, but okay. yeah, that's looking tough. I hope... Well, here is how... We're Steel Toe. He has to remind us, Steel Toe always wins in the end. Oh, always wins. Carl can bail that whole thing out. Carl's the only one who can draw a crowd. So I know we're going to sell out our anniversary show the way we always do. But boy, when you put Carl on something and you're still giving away tickets, that's a rough one. I feel bad for you. I hope it goes well. I really do. A vaping Dago knows that promoting on this show is really important. Yes. So he's advertising here, which is good. Uh, thank you, Vaping Dago. Uh, Adam says, another drop in the bucket. And Bizarre, the delusions. <laughs> anyway, this is the same guy who later in the day talked about how he has to do less streaming to, uh, you know, save his family. So I guess in the end, Steel Toe doesn't always win.
No one gives a shit about your stupid fucking show. Now we actually do give a shit about your stupid fucking show because we uh, are ticking down to the end of your marriage. So this should be fantastic. <laughs> this is great. There's always something going on in this universe, but it's fantastic. It is. It's so crazy. You know, things happen a month or two ago, and if in in the dabble verse, it feels like a year. You know. Yes. It's insane. Even Largo, even that Largo weekend feels like so long ago. Right. Because even like uh, when we did the the wrap up show the other day, it was like the middle of the week, and even Cardiff said like. Like gonna wrap up now, but it was like I never got a chance to talk about it. But yeah, it did. It felt like so long ago compared to what it really was. But uh yeah, so that's Steel Toe. But that was Steel Toe before all the shit happened today. Mm-hmm. Like we said, breaking news, breaking news. Spy report, spy report. Uh it looks like April will no longer be doing uh appearances on the show or very limited appearances. Scandalous, I don't know. Sir. Scandalous. Run DOC divorce clock. Yes, I believe Melton has some kind of divorce clock, or he at least has, I think, the steel toe divorce clock.com or something. Like Already? Yes, he invests <laughs> in websites ahead of time. He's the visionary. He sees the big picture. Sir, I've got great news. Plus, it's like $4 for the year to get a domain. Yes, Ralph. Uh, the VIP tickets to Hackamania for two hundred fifty dollars mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for most people in attendance. That's only fifty cents a pound, sir. What? Mm-hmm. That is one hell of a deal. It's a great deal, sir. You're absolutely right. A lot of fat people will be in Hackamania. If you feel bad about your body, come out to Hackamania. Mm-hmm. You'll feel much better about yourself. If you have Damn. a moderate humpback, yes. you can go to Hackamania and feel great. Yes. If you can't walk. There will probably be a lot of people, you know, in wheelchairs. There seems to be a big wheelchair community here in the Hackverse. Although I have heard there is no wheelchair access to the nerd. So if you are in a wheelchair and you already bought your tickets, you're fucked. No refunds, no exchanges. Oh, Quadfather's not going. He's fucked. Shit. Fucked. We don't need the wheel. See, Melton's thinking on this was that the wheelchairs take up too much space. Mm-hmm. It's almost like if you know if you had like two people in wheelchairs together, that's like four people you could have take up that space. And I mean, come on, they always drink slowly from those little straws. Oh, they drink slowly, and they're always you know they're always bothering people. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, what? You're standing? Oh, sorry, you're sitting. Yes. And they they really ruin the opportunity for a standing ovation, sir. Yes. Oh, they just kill the vibe. You know, <laughs> it's like get up, get up, come on. We all got up. We're all yeah, come on. Just lazy. But anyway, yes. Yeah, so get your tickets to Hackamania. Uh, Hackamania.com promo code Tuki. It's a huge, embarrassing failure. So huge and embarrassing of a failure. They were looking to get a bigger venue. So there is that. All right. I guess we should do everyone's favorite part of the show. OJ. Let's do it. Catch up on some super chats. Da 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 da. Hackle Burrow. What, what, Ralph? I said, I'm so excited, sir. Yes, it is very exciting. Hackle Burrow, five dollars. Sing in the style of the band aid theme. I'm stuck on Tukey cause Tukey stuck on me. Yay! It's fantastic. Thank you, Hackle Burrow. He wanted to came on me. Oh, I am stuck on Tukey cause Tukey came on me. Yay! <laughs> Fantastic. Kiki Loco member for 11 months. Biggest hog you've seen. My answer is Grant for sure. Yes. Grant. Carl's brother. Same. He's Same answer for it. tasted, sir? Yes. Okay. He's always showing it. Mm-hmm. And uh, yes, if you want to taste, you can get a taste. It tastes like Mountain Dew. It's disgusting. I hate Mountain Dew. Is that why John's always sucking on Mountain Dew, sir? Yes. Yes. Isn't that weird? Practicing. It's so odd that John would make fun of Grant for being a huge fan of Mountain Dew. And when John isn't, you know, wetting his brain with alcohol, he's drinking Mountain Dew. Hypocrisy police. Hypocrisy police. Am I the only one who thinks Mountain Dew tastes like shit? No. No, sir. Even the Simpsons think it tastes like shit, sir. Yeah, it's garbage. Carbonated body odor. 
Yes, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good. Way. Like that's a, yeah, it's not even like sweet. I don't know. There's something about it. it's just garbage. But anyway, I'm sorry, Grant. I'm sure we're not friends anymore. But I love you more than a friend. Mars, I love you more than a friend. Became a YouTube member. That's fantastic. And then he gifted one BW Network membership because he saw Damn. what a great value it was to become a member. Michaela, TWO, thank you for being a member for nine months. Thank you. Mars keeps gifting memberships. Marf, Mars is going crazy, gifting another Bedabbler Network membership. Thank you so much. Jack the Tripper says, 59 days till Hackamania. Tons of gay stuff. Member for seven months. Thank you so much. Yes, there will be tons of gay stuff there. Guy wow. stuff. <laughs> oh, is it not a gay? <laughs> yeah, those be guy. All right, well, there will be tons of gay stuff. <laughs> we knew, sir. Skeddy Tooth John, member for nine months from NLO to TWO. Yes, thank you to everyone who was uh, over at the NLO Tukey uh, pre-show where he covered Steel Toe and their breaking up of, or whatever, breaking news of breaking the show up. Who, again, who would have thought that spending 16 hours a day Streaming would eventually take a toll on your personal life. Mars, stop gifting memberships right now. Stop it. One at a time. Keep doing it. Keep doing it one at a time. Cookie for Tukey, thank you for the $2. Tukey, can we get an infamous boom shakalaka? Boom shakalaka. There you go. Uh, easy one, two, three, member for seven months. I wish my dad would queef in my face. <laughs> what? Did anyone else's dad? I remember we used to have an L-shaped couch growing up, and Tuki and his sister would um my dad would lay in between, like across the corner. So there would be space in the corner, and me and my sister would kind of, you know, we would lay there and watch movies with my dad. And sometimes when there were scary movies, we'd lay, you know, put our faces in our dad's back or something, and he would always fart right in our faces. <laughs> so thank you, Dad. For some reason, that person saying that they wish their dad would queef in their face made me realize that Tukey was lucky enough That's to have it. his dad fart right in his face. <laughs> and now, 30 years later, you're playing with puppets on YouTube, sir. Yes, maybe that had something to do with it, <laughs> Daddy. This is your baby boy now, Daddy. The best thing is that he's listening to this at some point. <laughs> but he would. I just remember those silent little farts, like, they were like, I'll never forget their smells. Never, never smelled like leukemia. I'll tell you that. Congratulations, sir. Those were healthy farts, Papa. I remember that. You're going to live a long time. I'm taking care of you. Not like Chad. Or who else lost their dad? Oh, John. All these other guys who don't have their parents. I will take care of you, Papa. Until you become sick. Then I'm shipping you off somewhere where someone else will take care of you. But cheapest place possible, sir. As long as you're healthy, Tuki will take care of you. And that means talking to you through these shows and calling you once a month. So I'm sorry. Mars. Son, <laughs> what would you say? You're a good son, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm sharing memories. I'm sharing memories. I love you, Dad. <laughs> Mars gifted one Bedabbler Network membership. Mars. You stop it. I bet you can't do 50 more. Jason Fusco, 199. Fusco. Please forward to Cabby. Thank you. Oh, Cabby. He doesn't need money where he is now. John's apartment. Kiki Loco, $2. You're going to cry? Hashtag, what a fag. I did. <laughs> I did. I cried. I cried for Cabby. Oh. Do you think you're in the will, sir? No. What the hell does Cabby have? It's memorabilia, sir. I want his bedpan. <laughs> the porno, sir. Oh, yes, porno. <gasps> the porno. The porno. Oh, you're right. Who has that? Who has access to that? OJ. Oh, shit. We're already maybe, that, maybe uh, we can find out. Oh, Hopefully. No, we've done an hour and we've done nothing. 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 This is garbage. This isn't a show. Why are Not you show, here? Sir. Max Brangle, thank you for being a member for eight months. What did Cabby have on Hillary Clinton? I don't know. Good question. Do we know what Cabby like eventually died of? I mean, 
even Dr. Steve, I think I think I said in our text, like, hey, Cabby passed away. And Dr. Steve was like, oh, my God, how? It was like, well, I don't know. He was paralyzed. You tell us, was, doctor. But he was paralyzed, an alcoholic, and yeah, I mean, it was had a degenerative disease that was slowly killing him. It could have been anything, I guess. Maybe he was oh. hit by a truck. Mm-hmm. Or the most more simpler and probably truer answer, Joey C. Very yep. lovely, sir. Joey C killed Cabby. I have some wow. breaking news though, sir. Jealous rage. <gasps> spy report. Spy report. Yes. Have you ever heard of the Daily Mail.uk, sir? Yes, I know about the Daily Mail. Is Tukey on the Daily Mail? No, but Cardiff is, sir. What? In the he's quote his tweet is quoted in the uh uh, the obituary, the the uh, announcement of Cabby's death. Oh, are you serious? Mail. Yes. I didn't go to Daily Mail today. Fuck. Can you, Ralph, can you pull it up? Yeah, can you pull it up? Because that'll go great with the other thing that uh, OJ, I want you to pull up. The thing that you were telling me about, <laughs> about Cardiff. Oh, no. What did he do, sir? Don't worry about it. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> uh. So this is the article. Where's Opie? Did Opie get some clout? No, Howard Howard Stern personality Lee Crazy Cabby Siegfried dies at 55. Nobody did better radio. Nobody did radio better than Cabby, and everyone who knew him loved him. So they who's that quote from? Oh, uh, from Kane. Uh yeah. And then I don't the think Howard of... Howard didn't talk about him. No, apparently he hasn't, sir. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. But uh yes, the tweets in <laughs> remembrance are up there. Stuttering John. Can you zoom in? Or you could just read it. Yeah, can. yeah, there you go. No, no, but I want to see because it's funny. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It's right under Stuttering John. And in the, between Chauncey Hayden and Stuttering John. And the Cabby awesome. One hashtag published. Cabby One. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see any of this. Perfect. Wow. Yeah. I never for a second thought that the Cabby thing could be a uh, April Fool's thing. Did anyone else? I didn't even realize it came out on April Fool's. Yeah, I had to double check. Like until I saw it from. I think it was Chauncey Hayden was the one that I'm like, okay, it's real. Okay. I didn't trust Joey C. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't. I mean, I, I, I had already seen it everywhere before Joey C told me. So oh. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't relying on Joey C. Wasn't the first person who told me. I actually, uh, I don't know where, I don't know where the first person, but the first thing I saw was a uh, Kane's post. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, there's no way Kane yeah. is going to fuck with everyone and say Cabby died. But YouTube right. personality Cardiff Electric hailed Cabby with memories of his 9-11 broadcasting <laughs> efforts and boxing match with Melendez, who won by decision. I will never forget Crazy Cabby describing his view of the towers from his roof, Cardiff Electric said. <laughs> Can you believe that someone had to research who Cardiff Electric was? That's amazing. <laughs> for this That's story? really cool. Fuck. I should have tweeted about Cabby. I didn't get any Cabby clout. Glad we've made... I'm Fuck. Glad to see Cabby dying... There's a positive. There's always when an, one door closes, another <laughs> opens. Cardiff Electric gets mentioned in the Daily Mail. That's fantastic. Congratulations. But rest in peace, Gabby. To Cardiff Electric. That is fantastic. News for Cardiff Electric. OJ, do you have your thing that uh, I want to show up? <clears throat> yeah. Let's okay. pull that up. What are you fuckers <laughs> doing? <laughs> Cardiff Electric. <laughs> there was a post on, did you see this yeah. post on Shuli's Anonymous? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? It's it's weird. We got they hate me and you, or this person hates me and you, but they like OJ. The well, no, not story. really, not really. They they don't like me so Possible. so much. <laughs> Impossible. Uh, Cardiff Electric. I tried watching his show last night, and he might need his own sub soon. It was just him explaining the three jokes we repeat about John ad nauseum. Actual quote from the potato at one point. It's like he just doesn't get it. He says these things and doesn't get it. I just don't get it. <laughs> Tukey is falling off in a major way too. Oh no. They are going to have to change something up uh, or their course has run. The orange probably is the most entertaining out of the three right now. And I'm not 100% sure he doesn't have down syndrome. <laughs> All right. That's looking great. Not sure. So thank oh, you, thank you. Oh, it's thank a whole thread. Do you, should we? Yeah, let's look at some of the comments. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know that one. 
That one wasn't one that made me laugh. What was one of the ones? Uh, keep going. He's a dabbler. Uh, he's a I can't no, no. Keep going. He's with Carl, a grown man with tomato ma- uh, mask, potato mask. No, keep going. It was something. Cardiff is convinced he's brilliant, talented writer, producer, and discoverer of talent. He can over-explain the dumbest joke, then try to sell people why they're dumb for not getting it. He's a turd or a tard. Pick one. Okay, choose Never. one. I should choose tard. But there was a better... Wasn't there one comment we were really dying? Oh, yeah. I can't remember, though. Why can't you find posts being very positive about your friends, sir? <laughs> Shut up. That would be nicer. Fantastic. Say, say good job, pal. They did. They said they said good job about OJ. This is one of the first posts that said OJ was the most talented one. <laughs> Certainly, they just talked about how much OJ sucks. So I wanted OJ to get a little, uh, you know, shine in the spotlight a little bit. <laughs> but he still thinks I have I might have Down syndrome, so it's well, not yeah, really a of course not really a compliment. But. but anyway, I don't know. Go read the comment section. I don't remember what it was. Go right now, sir. We were laughing. We were laughing before the show. I didn't see that. OJ told me about it. I was like, "All right, remember that, of course." And we'll pull it up. Uh, real quick, uh, <laughs> let's get this out of the way. Sorry, uh, Cardiff or Ralph. Our uh, our man, Boss Man Jack, has been banned from Kick for a week. What did he oh. do? Well, he lost four thousand dollars in under sixty seconds. Is that what they want you to do, do, sir? What's that? Isn't that what they want you to do? Yes. So they want you Tukey, to do. he's banned from kick, but does does he have other plat? Is he like on Twitch or other platforms? Or he's on, he's on YouTube, but he can't do the gambling on YouTube. Uh, but sometimes okay. he'll post videos on YouTube, but I don't think he's ever streamed. I gotta check. Maybe he has been doing some streams on YouTube, but I don't think so. But the reason he um the reason he uh, was banned was not ne- – I mean, it was because he lost $4,000 in 60 seconds. But because he lost the 4000 in 60 seconds, he started hitting himself violently. Oh, no. Like, really bad. And people think that Kick banned him for self-harm. Oh. Uh... That's the only thing we can really I, – I, that I've heard. Because there's really no other reason. So uh, let's see. Uh, let me add this. Yeah! Oh my god, bro! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Oh! Holy shit, balls! Oh my god, 4x! Holy shit! All right, so he has over four thousand dollars. I don't know what the fuck this game is. I don't know what game. There was a there was a video someone made, and I posted on my Twitter. Where it was like, uh, here's a new game for Boss Man. And it was just a red no or a green yes. Lower the volume. Yeah, dude, that, that blew my eardrums out. Sorry. Pretty loud. Bad in the 4X, my boys. Still now loud. watch this 800. No, you're good now. Oh, hey. my God. So he starts oh, screaming. Now? Uh, Ketamini says uh, Kino. Is it Keaton? No, it's not Keaton, is it? Yeah, I think I think I think he's just he's picking these random um, numbers. Yeah, well, his numbers are the are the purple squares. So then he's hoping when he hits play that you know green crystals <laughs> will appear in his <laughs> purple squares. And he's he's gonna bet eight hundred dollars a, a a click that this is gonna happen. Last one, last one. No! Oh my god. Bro, what are you doing? Oh my god. Oh. 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 Whoa. So, Damn, that's like Rain Man. Yeah, like he's hitting himself really hard. Now, Kick took his channel down, so I couldn't get the actual video. This is a video that someone else made. And you'll notice there's like video game like guys getting punched when he does that. So it sounds a little worse, but he is hitting himself very hard. But you will notice there is some video game noises included. (laughs) 
Oh my god. I fucking lost it all. I fucking lost it all. <laughs> There's someone's it's fantastic lottery kick.com slash lottery. Thank you for that clip. Uh, because yeah, without that, I couldn't get the clip. But yeah, he beat the shit out of himself. And that's why people are saying that he uh he lost his channel, but I, I have no idea how much was lost there. Over uh four thousand dollars. Wow. He was up to four thousand and he lost it in less than sixty seconds because he was betting eight hundred dollars on Kino. Kino. <laughs> It's literally the lottery. Imagine if you went to the lottery, you know, the store right now, and you're like, give me a lottery ticket. And they're like, okay, that's going to be 800 bucks. And you're like, all right, no problem. Here you go. You <laughs> just bought an $800 lottery ticket. And you just hope these numbers come out. Oh, this is ridiculous. All right, I need a break from all this. Do you guys need a break? Sure. I never need a break from you, sir. Well, we're going to do a break, Ralph, because it's time for Guy Stuff. I want to feel you deep inside of me. Got stuff. I want to feel you deep inside of me. Got stuff. I want to feel you deep inside of me. Now, sir, you never said how long the break was going to be. When should I come back? What the fuck are you doing? You son of a bitch. Now you have to play that whole opening. I want to feel you deep inside of me. Got stuff. I want to feel you deep inside of me. I want to feel you deep inside of me. Gasta! Deep inside! I want to feel you deep inside of me. Gasta! I want to feel you deep inside of me. Gasta! I want to feel you deep inside of me. Gasta! Deep inside. What's up, you dumb fucks? It's your day, Turbo Melendez, with another installment of Deep Inside Guy Stuff with me, Turbo Melendez. Hey, let's talk about male pregnancy for a sec, because that's guy stuff. This is actually a subject that's near and dear to me because there are rumors out there that we're getting an addition to the Adams family. I mean, Melendez family. Oh, <laughs> Oh crap, did I say Adam's family? Don't, we gotta cut that out. Don't let my dad see that. He'd be mad. That's guy stuff. Any non-homo knows that in 2024, men are getting more and more pregnant at an alarming rate. Heck, I just told you there are rumors that a new Melendez mutant is baking in some kind of confused toxic womb as we speak. That's guy stuff. You would think pumping your body full of wrong hormones and literally butchering yourself would cause your body to reject any normality. Like your body would eventually give up and yell, Okay, stupid, let's do things your mentally ill way. But that's not the case. The human body is incredible. Just like in Jurassic Park, life finds a way. Guy stuff. And don't try any of your voodoo mumbo jumbo trying to make this kid straight. I think if the Melendezes have any kind of track record... It's birthing idiots. I mean, it's pretty simple. Once a man with a vagina finds a woman with a penis, the woman with a penis ejaculates inside the man's vagina. Guy stuff. This unleashes like a bazillion woman spermies that make their way to the male egg that the male's ovaries spit out through the male fallopian tubes. Are you following? That's guy stuff. This ain't rocket pop science like explaining why the sky is violet and the largest planet is Shuli Upada. This is guy stuff. I want to feel you deep inside of me. Guy stuff. I want to feel you deep inside of me. Guy stuff. I want to feel you deep inside of me. Guy stuff. Deep inside. Guy stuff. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Turbo Melendez. <laughs> For another installment of guy stuff that was fantastic i missed it sir can you play it again <laughs> yes no uh, maybe i'll play it at the end uh also i think i'm gonna start uh posting these things onto uh members only and patreon and all that kind of crap uh this one i might put up though i'm proud of this one this was my favorite one yeah i agree uh, with uh jt that story. was the best one yet amazing. thank you you're my hero thank sir and thank you to uh to my good friend 
who makes those. I know, uh, you know, he makes the AI for me. Uh, my good friend. I don't want to say your name because I don't know what to call you. I know you don't want to be docs, but you know who you are. So thank you very much for your AI work. Uh, I always, whenever I have a guy stuff thing, I go, okay, here's what I need. I need turbo pregnant. Or I need is, turbo skydiving. I need turbo gambling. Is he a shuli, sir? Yes, he's a shuli. He's, he's my fine shuli. with it, sir. He's fine with Luigi. Okay, Luigi, you are a uh, talented uh, AI creator. And thank you very much for uh, always helping me out with guy stuff. There would be no guy stuff without you. So thank you. And uh, yes, we will definitely be doing more uh, straight kid stuff. It's fantastic. We almost have a franchise of stuff. <laughs> it's like the who are these podcasts? The who are these broadcasters? It's the who are these stuff? It's amazing. It's still, still OJ's got nothing there, sir. <laughs> oh, he stinks. stinks. He does. He stinks. <laughs> All right, so we did uh, we did guy stuff. We did uh, we did steel toe. We did boss man. Uh, here is uh, where did I put this? Okay, oh. yes, we might want to play this just for a uh, for the gamblers out there with the problems. Let's with your head, no over it. Yes, and we hide the number with our banner. Yes, we do. <laughs> we don't really care. <laughs> Just a disclaimer, so people can't say we're glorifying gambling. That's right. When we show Boss Man Jack, even though it's the one of the most glorious things ever to watch him just lose his money and then lose his mind. Oh, we're horrible people. But, uh, all right. So, uh, do you want to see a new Franklin Sheckler video called Ray DeVito lies again. <laughs> yes. Okay. Then there, that's what we'll play. All right. This is from the great Franklin Sheckler. He sent this to me. He said, here, if you need something for today, uh, play this. It's a, it's a, it's a video proving that Ray lies again, which has been a uh, common theme lately. It really has for Ray DeVito. So, Sorry, Ray. We just, uh, you know, we get the material, we report it, and then we assume the worst, and then the chat eventually corrects us. But <laughs> here from the great Franklin Sheckler, this is called Ray DeVito Lies Again. Like Nobody's I did see perfect. The, well, no, I did see like the, the Franklin Sheckler thing that they played. That fucking cunt used the fuck out of me. That fucking attention-seeking whore. Like him talking about like he clips it with the dates and he has the date. That's Why I love you, my dear. Who is it? That fucking gap tooth fucking bitch. That like I was talking about something Eric did in 2024, but he just has the date. Like, like how the internet percent. tries to get you with Ray. Oh my god, that's just ridiculous. Go grow up. You go grow up. How about that? You grow up. Like it happened that date. <laughs> and it's like, no, no. I'm talking about something that happened years earlier. So like he's purposely manipulating oh. the, yeah. the, the well, I, I try, yeah, yeah, I tried he, to explain that today that you had known Ari since like years yeah, before like that so was, I, I did... was talking about an incident that happened in 2020 not an incident that happened in 2024 when i said that on a podcast so it's taken out of context and i get it it works in his favor and makes me like <laughs> so be careful with and my lost interest does not do that with his clips he's very like here it is that day that happened here's this not like tries to manipulate to be like oh he's saying that this might happen on this day when she says like so yeah to be a moron the imbecile he was farting in bathtubs and laughing your ass off like the dumbest motherfucker that ever lived so i don't know ray was but the dates were there who was ray talking about ray doesn't know what he's talking about i didn't quite understand what ray was trying to say but I believe you say he's altering the date, sir. Oh, stop it, Ray. Those dates were not altered. We know when all this stuff happened. Literally just happened last September. Right? It was 
That would be the time frame, sir. <laughs> Wasn't that when Detroit was? It's not when, like... it's when Harry Jane launched herself into this. Right. Yes. Also oh, stupid. And now, why is Pat Dixon's ex girlfriend or whatever another loony bin, another nutcase? She's going to a therapist because Pat Dixon broke up with her. These chicks are out of their fucking minds. And then they come into all this and they're like, I can't take it. I can't take it. Everyone's talking about me. Oh, by the way, these are all the things Pat likes to do sexually. It's like, what? Right. Yes, Felicia. Thank you, Dr. Steve. Dr. Yeah, at, fir at first glance, Tuki, I thought it was I thought it was Joey C's wife. I, I didn't know who Felicia oh. was. Yeah, I have no idea. But again, yeah. she's just another another chick who threw herself into this world where I guess she wants to reveal all this stuff about Pat. And then once we start talking about her, she's going to lose her mind. She's already in therapy because he broke up with her eight months ago. What the fuck is wrong? With Hard this? man to get over, sir. Yes. Uh, my dick. They can't get over my dick. Yeah. See? <laughs> all right. Ray DeVito. His chin is kind of neato. Mm -hmm. He's got no libido. He was on recently with the lovely, beautiful, Tukey lookalike, Elise. <laughs> She's so pretty. She, Tukey. she looks just like Tukey. I cannot see Tukey. And Tukey's mom hates when Tukey says that because she's always like, you're going to give this girl a complex. Stop it. I'm like she looks so much like Tuki. She's beautiful. <laughs> so anyway, here is Ray talking to Elise about how he is agnostic. Have you ever heard of that term before? <laughs> for Easter? <laughs> yes. Just in time for Easter. Oh, that is a great point, Ralph. Because because actually, uh, Ray uh, he doesn't believe. Easter is real. Oh. It's not a real day. How do you do the agnostic hunt? I don't know. <laughs> the Easter, I'm getting a lot of flack, uh, Elise. A lot of people coming at me today. Uh, I'm agnostic. I don't know what you are. He's a good agnostic. That doesn't mean I don't believe that there is a God or there isn't. I don't know if there's an Easter or not. I'm just saying I don't know. Wait, he doesn't know I if there's there an is. Easter or not. Yes, he's not sure if there's an Easter or not. <laughs> Well, isn't Easter now Mental Illness Awareness Day or something? It just happened to fall on the same day this year. Oh, sure. Easter bounces around, sir. Oh, I didn't realize. No one told me we had a guest. Did this person just come here? I think they just did. I hope Cletus. they just did. Is this Cletus? Well, <laughs> hey, Mr. Tukey, I've been here for a little while, but I'm uh, just you know, hanging out, just enjoying the show. It's wild. It's wild. I, I appreciate you. Who the fuck is this? Who is Cletus? Is this your uncle, OJ? It's not my uncle. Well, I actually <laughs> call in the old uh, um, uh, Mr. Cardiff show back in the day. I worked for Travis Tritt, don't you know? And he's a big fan of y'all. He, he, he said, Cletus, tell me they're wild. I, I really do appreciate that. Sorry, I'm removing Cletus. It's best, it's best to not ask Cletus too many questions, sir. Okay. I'm, uh, is that the I'm guy that calls him. into uh, Melton that says, got him? You got him? No, that's yeah. Buzzard Bob. Oh, okay. Right, oh, he's no, old Buzzard Bob. Story. He's a good fella. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Cletus. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I really do enjoy what you're doing there. And uh, Travis Tritt says, howdy, do. All right. Like see you in Las Vegas there and maybe uh, well, hang out with you for uh, a little bit, tell you a couple of stories or two about uh, his time on the road. You know? Shut up. You're All right. Well, thank you. All right. Well, you have you again. We got tornadoes here. I'll tell you. My mama used to say black by day. <laughs> I'm taking him down again. Does he ever shut up? No. You know, he just keeps going. Still talking, sir. I'm watching. That, I'm watching him talk. Him. Oh, wait, wait, black by day and white by night. But wear tornadoes. Say, this mama, is great. Oh, I hate you, Cletus. Oh, you're the worst. You're the worst character <laughs> I've come in contact with in the devil verse. I hate you. All right. You. I appreciate you for having me on your show. There, no, I hate Mr. you. I hate well, you. 
<laughs> well, I'm going to say it ain't reciprocated because I, I do appreciate what you're doing. My... I'm taking him away. I can't take him. <laughs> All right. Here's more about Ray not knowing whether Easter is real or not. I don't know if the Easter bunny is real. Like, I know he used to eat the carrot all the time when he left me an Easter basket, but I don't know if he was real. I don't think that makes me a bad person for being agnostic. People are giving me grief for being agnostic. Agnostic. I've never heard anyone pronounce it that way. It's agnostic, right? Yes. Yes, sir agnostic uh all right here is uh elise elise is one minute into the show this is literally a minute into the show and elise is already distracted by the chat no is that my religion is to be anti whoever this is that says elise wearing oh elise wearing some makeup my bad i thought it said elise wear some makeup so obviously that's where my mind's at you don't gotta wow, worry about that. Much. no We're i know doing a show. I, it's you and me elise i know i'm a, i'm totally aware um whoops uh fantastic elise does ray oh. know he can hide the chat from his guests yes no yeah i don't think he does why would he know that no just a checkbox. Yes, Ray, you can do that. You can hide the chat from your guests so they're not so insecure. And ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, uh, let's keep going. Uh, clip number three. Elise gives her opinion on agnostics and atheists. Fantastic. I feel like agnostic is, um, you know, it's kind of like the libertarian of um, religious uh, or <sighs> philosophical. I don't know what you call that. Um, oh my God, she has a way with words. Um, Jesus Christ. Identification. Comedian, sir? What? These are two comedians, sir. Yes, these are two comedians. I think uh, Elise is also some kind of witch, like Shuli's wife or something. She believes in crystals. And all that kind of crystal knock or something. I she, yeah, I know she's into the astrology. Yeah, she's a she's a wackadoo. They're all wackadoos. Oh no, astrology's real, sir. Shut up. And first off, wait, astronomy. No astrology, sir. Oh, well, is that the one with like the horoscopes? Yeah, yeah. Aries, sir. Oh yes, yes, that is real. That is real. Labels are lame. Um. And of course, I believe in a higher power. I'm a very God. spiritual uh, person, and I'll take an agnostic. Labels are lame, but I'm a very spiritual person. <laughs> over an atheist any day. Um, that being said, it's it's all good. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that all being said, which none of it needed to be said, right. it's all good agnostic she's trying to say shit or get off the pot ray either believe in god or don't believe in god or agnostics are just hedging their bets agnostics are basically betting placing a bet on both red and green or red and black and hoping green doesn't come out it's basically fucking all green it. sir fucking green don't even get me started don't even get boss man jack started on green double zero <laughs> zero uh, did you know that Elise is a recovering people pleaser? Whatever the <laughs> fuck that means. It's fantastic. And I have to be very upfront about the fact that I am a recovering people pleaser. So a lot of blowjobs, maybe. Yeah. What, what did you used to do to please these people? Hacka hacka. <laughs> you and you and Ray. You and Ray on the same wavelength here. What did you? That makes it sound like you made some bad. Joke. What did I you do? I wouldn't. What are I wouldn't the deaths tell you would them go to? when they were being full of shit, or I would just be like, "Okay, yeah, I can, I can just adapt to whatever horseshit they're offering, or whatever horseshit that they uh, believe is the truth." Um, yeah, yeah I can give totally, me an example. I can, to, I can totally make that manageable. I don't want to be a problem. And now I'm like, no. You're a fucking problem. How about you fucking eat shit and die alone? You know, like just like just bounce the fuck out of here. Jesus Christ! What the hell happened to Elise? How did she go from being a former people pleaser to <laughs> someone who says eat shit and die alone? Who are you? Person of extreme, sir. Yes, Jesus. 
Who hurt you, Elise? It's horrible. All right, here's number five. Ray is introduced to a new word. Foibles. Me to um, allow for human foibles or just allow for something. Um, foibles, like, um, and, foibles. and just, for, What's yeah, a foible? fo- foibles. <laughs> and, and just like, you know, just to allow for, I don't want to say imperfections, but, you know, just like allow for like nuance and especially things that are not, um, you didn't even think to account for it because it's like so not not part of your process. Okay, so whatever she said after foibles, Ray did not compute because he's still hung up on foibles. He's still trying to figure out what is this alien word that this human Tukey had just presented him with. And she and foibles, by the way, Tukey, she says uh, she, that she didn't want it to sound like an imperfection, but that's kind of what a foible is. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, I actually, I put the definition here to help Ray in this next clip. <laughs> Anything to do I with that. I can't find this foible. You got me stuck and then, on foible. 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 Get a fucking dictionary, Ray. I what am. I'm looking for it. How do, do you... How do you spell it? I'm trying to. It just keeps Foible, coming up. Foible, F O I F O I B L E S. I don't know. That's how I would. I don't know. It's amazing. I can watch these two stream all night. I don't know why. They're, they're great. Uh, <sighs> wow. I'm, t- I'm going. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going through my list uh oh oh here we go oh this is a good one okay so let's go to clip number 10 here are two dummies trying to explain a solar eclipse oh boy what is the eclipse what am i going to see what am i going to see okay i'm going i'm going to be in cleveland you're going Um, to see when is the eclipse tell me the date again at least so i know if i'm going to be in cleveland it's on monday it's on Monday of April. Uh huh. All right. I'll be just well, getting back to Cleveland. So Monday I'll be of April. What'd you say? Monday of April. <laughs> oh, I'm busy. Ray's busy. <laughs> Can't go outside. A total eclipse. So the, the sun. High. Total eclipse of the no, sun. No, you are a total eclipse. He doesn't even know the song. <sighs> Did he just say total eclipse of the sun? Oh, he, maybe it's. I think he was trying to. Yeah. Make okay. A parody. Okay, because I, I thought I could have swore he said heart. Okay, yeah, you're right. I just caught that. He's dumb. Eclipse of the heart, Ray. And this no. is a total eclipse of the sun. Um, and I believe it happens at t- around 2.05 Eastern time. PM. PM. The sun. <laughs> After, I'm not sure if OJ understands, <laughs> but a solar a solar eclipse would generally happen in the AM, or it wouldn't happen at 2 AM. It would be a 2 PM kind of thing. Oh, usually. so it's going to be dark, and then it's going to get darker. Okay, I get it. That's what I'm going to see. I'm going to see nothing. Oh, God, I died. I died. I can't see anything. I died for four minutes. Total eclipse of Ray's brain, Stephen. Yes, it's just it was very. That was uh, I couldn't believe it when that <sighs> was happening. at night or during. Oh, during the day. Yes, solar eclipse. Oh, wow. solar, solar eclipse. Yeah. So PPM, it's like when awesome. That... So that's right when I wake up. All right. Well, I, I wake up at don't noon every day. don't I miss don't an opportunity to see this ve- this pretty massive phenomenon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, so now that we know, uh, you know, now that we have explained to Ray what an eclipse is, I still don't think he knows. No, he does not. Because <laughs> in clip 12, he proves to us he still doesn't have any clue what an eclipse is. Next thing you know, it's like a four minute blackout, and you're fucking. Jerking off with a sex toy candle. The eclipse. All I have to do is go outside and look in the sky, right? That's the eclipse. <laughs> right? I mean, that's essentially the eclipse. Truth. Yeah. Let's not overcomplicate things. 100. Yeah. That is 
all that, that that's it. There's, sir, there's been at least three in his lifetime. There was one literally like four years ago or something. At least where I live. I, just, I mean, it wasn't a total eclipse, but at least, yeah, like he's had to have at least experienced the word eclipse in his lifetime. And like, but it, like, even if they were at school, like, I'm sure, like, oh, they, you know, they had all the kids go outside. And use their little boxes, their little shoebox things that they made, or just look. Even if you look at the ground, you can see if, the shadows. It's if Monday night Ray is doing a show with sunglasses on, sir. <laughs> he burned his retinas. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Blind uh, Ray DeVito uh, coming soon. Here is um <laughs> all right, so. Ray now finally knows, you know, more about eclipses. And uh, he's actually recently learned about sex toys, thanks to his uh, Asian friend, Minji? Something? Mingi? The girl who was very proud of her genital herpes. (laughs) Did anyone else see that? Yes. It's very insane. (laughs) But apparently she's going to give ray a sex toy and i swear to god i don't even think remember how we talked about especially during the largo show that ray doesn't even know what a clitoris is and (laughs) we're pretty much questioning whether ray has actually had sex i'm starting to question whether ray has actually ever even masturbated (laughs) here's a clip she also works for a company where she promotes sex toys she showed me all the sex toys she's got she's gonna bring me get some She's going to bring me one uh, sex candle thing that I can put Dem- in my like how he's demonstrating uh, wiener. It. Yeah, what is he doing? He was like, sex <laughs> candle? A sex candle, yes. I think it's... it's Showing us how he's going to jerk off with it. Yeah, his jerk off motion is very weird. It looked like he was hacking at, like, wheat. His hand was backwards, first of all. <laughs> yeah, it was backwards. And yeah, let's watch that again. She also works for a company where she promotes sex toys. She showed me all the sex toys. She's got. She's gonna bring Can you me. Get a, some? She's gonna bring me one. Us. Oh, he's one, yeah. He's one of those like reverse jerkers. <laughs> yeah, kids. You always want the palm facing you. <laughs> yeah. What is he doing? He's too. He's all like ninja like. If you see knuckles, you're doing it wrong. God damn it, Ray! You gotta do everything the hard way, like the tire. Why didn't he just get his tire fixed? Just get a new tire. But he doesn't have to get a new tire. He All he had to do was go to the place that put on his new tire and say, hey, it's leaking. And he, I guess they said that it wasn't. So go to another place and say, hey, I think I have something in my tire. Or say, hey, I think my valve is broke. Well, I think yeah. it's even worse than that. I think Teamster Tim sent him somewhere, and they told him that I think it was the valve stem that was leaking. And, yes. and, he, and he told them not to fix it. What? Yeah. It's 25 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, you, you yeah. know, you need to get a fix. It doesn't matter. Yeah. What are you going to keep refilling the same tire every hundred miles? Crazy. Wacko. But yeah, I have no idea. And then the candle, I guess this is some kind of sex toy that instead of a flesh light, it's a flesh candle. I don't mm. I don't think Ray knows what he's getting. <laughs> Again, based on the way he's doing the jerk off motion, I really don't think he knows what he's getting. Sex candle thing that I can put on my uh wiener <laughs> so but it's a candle it's not a flat i don't know I it's like it's like this it's like this and it looks like a candle but it's like yay wide and yay- jesus christ <laughs> how thick is gray's penis like, what did he question like why it's so wide like, maybe he's one of the ones stealing from tony chase that's right how is this <laughs> His dick is going to get swallowed by this toy. I think that that freeze frame you have right there is valuable, sir. You should clip yeah. that. <laughs> Here you go. Everyone can have it. There you go. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what. He, I don't know. I've never heard of a toy like this. I mean, I it must know. be a flashlight. And just Ray is just dumb. You know, he doesn't know what he's. It looks like a candle. But that's the thing. It's, like, it's probably know. a dildo. Does he put like a lit candle on his wing? Oh, I, I have so many questions. I want to see this toy once he gets it. 
You imagine his landlords find that in the top rack of their dishwasher? Yes! Oh, that's right! How did you know? He explains that when you're done with this thing, you're supposed to uh, put it in the dishwasher to wash it. Ugh. Hey, big, and you put it on your wiener, and you just kind of, I guess, uh, so it's, just, it's a... You jiggle it just a little bit. Flashlight, but it's like yeah. fashioned as a candle instead of a flashlight. Yeah, Is so people think saying? it's a candle in your house. Uh, like, no, no, no. It's more fun than a candle. This is my like, spouse. The candle's full of my dumb cum. <laughs> okay. Tukey. Like, like Tukey. Hacka, hacka. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, you might want to put your member in there because there's some good things. Then you put it in the dishwasher when you're done and you clean it out. It has its dishwasher safe. Yes, That's you put really it nice in the dishwasher, that. man. You put it in the dishwasher and you wash it with your mental plate. note. You know, never you put it in eat there with your family, raised. puts their dishes right? in there, and then you put your dishes in there, and then I put my sex toy in there, and then we just wash it. Oh, it's not that's not po that's, he, he's got to be joking, right? He's a comedian. This is a joke. The comparison so. would be fair if his landlords come on their plates. Yes, exactly. Or filming yes. two girls, one cup upstairs. Then yes, it's an accurate comparison. Yes. What is he talking about? Why would you put? And even if Cardiff will clean it out for free, there you go. Yes, it's true. Cardiff loves eating true. cum. I've heard that, sir. <laughs> but he didn't sound like he was talking. Yes, he talks like a virgin. Thank you, Domo Agro. He does. He talks like a virgin. That's why I don't think Ray's. Oh, Ray, he's so sweet and innocent. He's our little boy. But, uh, okay, so here we go to our last clip with Ray, proving even more so that I really don't think Ray has had any kind of sexual experience in his life. Because here are more clit facts with Ray DeVito. Everything you ever wanted to know about the clit, Ray will inform you. <laughs> I, I think it was Mesker. He was telling me like uh, someone gave him a flesh thingy, and like he tried it once, and it was like, yeah, this it's just it's easy to jerk yourself off. You don't need all this fucking fancy toy. But for you women, it's different because you're all innies. You're innies. I don't know if you know about your vagina, but it's an innie, at least. I don't know. I feel like I'm a talk to a gynecologist talking to a woman. It's an innie, so it's tougher for you, ladies. Oh my I gosh, think. you are making the point, and I hate this. I hate the fact that every, you know, like every joke and every movie and every everything is that um, they can't find the clip. So the fact that you were just like, it's all any and like, you know, the, the clip's an <laughs> Audi. So the fact that you just said that, I was like, oh, they're not just, it's not just bad writing. It just is like, they're reflecting the truth. Like they're reflecting. No, the it's right on the, it's right on the, I know where itself. it is. It's right on the top of the vagina. It's like up and in. Up yeah. and in. <laughs> she also works. It's on the belly button. Isn't that where the clit is? <laughs> Good guess, Ray. It was fantastic. But you could literally see the moment where Elise was like, oh, my God. There really are. What is that? What it's just at? the closest thing I could find to a sex candle, sir. And it's somebody, an instructional website showing you how to make a silicone pussy out of an old candle. Oh, oh, the yeah. fuck? There's Disgusting. some other ones here I would love to show you, but I can't because oh. guys like to put pictures of their penis in these. That's guy stuff. That's all that is. That's guy stuff. Guys like to put the wieners and things, you know. Um, but yeah, it was amazing because Elise was like, oh my God, I thought all those comedians telling jokes about guys not knowing anything about the clit was, you know, a joke. But she's like, oh my God, there are really people like that. <laughs> she was mortified. Just take a look backstage, sir. I see it. What is that? A butthole? No, it's it's I think it's a piece uh, of meat, sir, but it still fuck? might get you struck. <laughs> what is that? Oh! <laughs> it looks like a prolapse sausage butthole. This is from thing. a site called Homemade Fleshlight Basics, sir. Oh! Send me a link to that. Email me that link. No, I'm kidding. Uh all right. So that was Ray. Uh, that was Ray. We still have so now. Um, I do have clips of Chad watching that same episode 
of Ray and Elise. And we get Chad's opinions on things. But let's let's go back to everyone's favorite part of the show, OJ. Let's pick up where we left off with the Super Chats. Yay! Amazing, sir. Red473, <laughs> thanks for the 10 bucks. Do you think John let that biker eat his butthole? Sucking on a hemorrhoid sounds risky. Like sucking the cream from a donut, but with blood. Proud of John for coming out. What an icon. Yes. As we all heard, there were rumors that John did leave Stevie Tomatoes on the back of another man's motorcycle. A fatty on a fatty. Riding bitch. (laughs) And I don't know. I don't know if... I assume John maybe had a couple of bucks that he wouldn't have to have uh, lick the butthole of the biker. So I'm going to say no. But I do still believe the theory that he did leave Stevie Tomatoes riding bitch on another man's motorcycle. I believe it. I believe it too. And I also believe that Cardiff sent that individual to spy on John. No, I don't. (laughs) It's so stupid. Joe Valentine, is Cardiff still going on Pat's show tonight? Yes, go. I've heard that, sir. All right. Well, Well, Ralph, why don't you go check? Make sure that Cardiff is on the show. Oh, yes. We do share a phone line. I guess I would have to get off this line so we could call yeah. into the Pat Dixon show. Yes. Yeah, so go do that, and I'll talk to you later. Galaga, sir. Show Saturday, sir? Uh, Yes. Yes. Uh, we're yeah. back to the schedule. Uh, I think Tukey's Soup is going to be Tuesday nights, and then we're going to do Saturday, Saturday mornings. We're back. Everyone go to patreon.com slash Cardiff Electric, mm-hmm. at Cardiff Electric on Twitter and uh, YouTube. Or I think it's at Cardiff Elect on Twitter, but uh, you know, you find him. Yes, I've heard that he's reconstructed uh, Stuttering John's Poor Little Jew Boy song on his Patreon, sir. What? Yes. I am a member, and I have not heard this yet. This is something that Tukey will be looking forward to. You can play it when I leave if you want, sir. Fantastic. Yes, we can, do that. we can do that. So Go hit end stream, right, sir? Yes, hit end stream. No, do not do that. But yes, go over to Pat Dixon's channel on Rumble. Go see the great Cardiff Electric and Pat Dixon talk about crime? Guy stuff. Guy, they talk about guy stuff. Galaga, sir. Joe Matarese. Later, Ralph. Goodbye. Get out of here. Dump him. Get rid of him, OJ. Oh, finally. Finally, Jesus. Breathe. Oh, I know know what you mean. It's like, oh, I always have to get my voice. I always got to get my opinion. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Oh, Oh, hello, sir. Oh, excuse me, sir. The ball licking, you know, you could take, you know. Sir, I need to cut you off, sir. I know you're trying to talk, but. Don't do that. Sir, I know you're trying to read Super Chance, but let me uh, interject something. Oh, I love him. I'm sorry, sir. Cousin IT member for six months. I hope Ralph goes next. Uh oh. (laughs) He's talking about death? I think so. APAR, remember for five months, the Cabby uh, Find His Mom saga on YouTube is fantastic. Yes, uh, Cabby was adopted, and there was a whole saga where Howard did try to find Cabby's parents, and uh, he did. He found his mom and uh, reunited them. Michael P, $2. Straight Kid Stuff video is amazing. You guys are great. Go Bills. Thank you so much. Uh, We are going to do more of those and again that was uh completely the brainchild of one cardiff electric who is over on pat dixon's channel right now go see them hanging out on rumble because pat dixon is too controversial for youtube just ask his boring untalented ex-girlfriend felicia he's too hot to handle (laughs) uh soren ringholm Member for seven months, John tried to put a new batch into Mrs. C. Hashtag no disrespect. Yep. She would not have that. I'm telling you, she would rip his dick off. (laughs) I really (laughs) believe that. The way she shook my hand, I would never let it go anywhere near the part of my body that I love oh so much. (laughs) Because, yes, I believe she would tear it right off. Hands band member for six months. If you extend the t-shirt contest a week, I'll, I'll enter. Uh, well, no, I'm not going to. I mean, you can. You can still send one in. Maybe I'll make a shirt, but. Send yeah, something in. Yeah, send you never something. know. It could be the greatest shirt ever. And you're telling him no? 
No, yeah, yeah. He can. I mean, he can send it in. Yeah, sure. Send, send it in. in. Send it in. Who cares? <laughs> the contest stinks. Robert Christensen, one ninety nine. I sent a current shirt concept to Rocco's email. Did you send it to TukiSoup at gmail dot com? And also, if you sent a, a an image that was just like obviously would not be a shirt, I kind of just ignored it. Uh, Uncle Poopy, two dollars. I'm late. What did I miss? You missed everything, Uncle Poopy. Just rewind and go watch it again. Steve H, thank you very much for the 50 bucks. Love the new Tukey Soup intro. I got my dumb ass up. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that immensely. I love you more than a friend. Yes, our new... Uh, oh, wait. I think you made the song, didn't you? <laughs> or I know there was a guy. The guy who made it was Steve or Steven. I don't know. But yes, it's... When we have time. I, I want to listen to that with you. I think there's just one little part that... I know you said that you think the the vocals are out of sync. Uh, some of it's a little out of sync, just so you can hear. Not much of it. Not much of it. It's just okay. one little one little piece. Yeah, send me a time code or whatever. All right. But we, yeah, we can play. It. Wait, let's do it right now. You drive me nuts. You make me crazy now. <laughs> Hold on. Thank you for the sit, Eugene. Sit. Wrong one. <laughs> Get your dumb ass up, cause it's time for Tukey Soup. The taste is gonna move ya with OJ and Ralph. The taste will make you lose it when you pop it in your mouth. Tukey Soup is gonna move ya. It's a show, but it'll soon ya. Tukey Soup, the taste of Tukey Soup is gonna move ya. Yay! The take the taste will make you lose it part when you pop it in your mouth. You come in just a little bit. You come in a little too early. Okay. I'll take a look at it. <clears throat> Neil Pret, Pret, Preet? Preet. Not the drummer of that band. What is that band? Pert. Rush. Rush, yes. I wanted to say yes. I knew it was like a one-syllable word. Everything is awful. Yes, this is all awful. This is all crap. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Melissa Young, thank you for gifting five Bedabbler Network memberships. I love you more than a friend. It's fantastic. <clears throat> thank you, Melissa. Drunk Engineer, member for six months. When will the Tukey OnlyFans be available? Um, Never. I don't know. I mean, they'll probably make a lot of money, actually. <laughs> there's probably some weird sex fetish involving puppets i'll have to talk to chad he probably knows more about it but i don't know uh i don't think we'll be making a tukey only fans anytime soon maybe as a joke like the cameo the cameo was supposed to be a joke and i've done like over 50 cameos it's crazy uh gunga din five dollars tukey i had oj do a cameo for my kid my kid asked after why the orange has a penis hey because he's a boy orange, duh. Or he's a girl orange with a penis. <laughs> so yes, I can understand why your kid would be uh Gungadin, thank you. You know, confused. Yes, Gungadin. Gungadin. Gungadin, go bring water. <laughs> bring water. <laughs> Hands man, thank you for gifting five Bedabler Network memberships. Yay! That's fantastic. I love you thank more than you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Neil Poon or Pooney as we call him. Daniel, not Neil. Oh, Neil. Holy shit. I have dyslexic. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Daniel. I even as I said that, I knew it was wrong. Daniel Poon or Pooney, member for eight months. Aaron looks like a special needs buff Bagwell, TWO. <laughs> yeah, he kind of does. Does he dye his facial hair? Or it looks like it, doesn't it? He's very, very dark. He's got he very looks dark like a hair. Game magician. Yeah, he almost looks like Sal. He has like Sal facial hair or something. Just yeah. shave it. It's not working. Some guy's facial hair just doesn't work for. Yeah. Uh, Painkiller, member for six months. Vincent and Bessie will be hosting hat a mania Oh, go. no. Is that conflicting with uh, hack mania Is that going to be the East Coast hack a mania hat mania <gasps> I might go to that. I heard Chad and Kevin are going to go to Hatamania. They're going to buy each other hats. It'd be fantastic. I want to be there. Oh, shit. Why do they have to conflict? 
There's so many weekends in a year. There's 52 weekends in a year. Hatamania and Hackamania had to be on the same weekend. Unfortunately. Disgrazia. Deadbeat Lux became a YouTube member. Thank you, Deadbeat. I love you more than a friend. Apar, $2. El Harible's pizza game looked like John's mom's box. Yes. If you go to uh, at me dabbler on Instagram, I made some pizza gain and lard bread. It was fantastic and delicious. Oh, nice. And the pizza gain, yes, did look like John's mom's box, but it's the way it goes when your mom has such an eggy, cheesy, meaty box. <laughs> John's mom. That big, gray, meaty, eggy, cheesy, stinky, fishy, <laughs> slimy, sandy, dry. John's mom's box. Daniel Poon or Poonie, gifting one B Dabbler Network membership. Thank you, Poonie. Yay! Don, $20. Yay! For guy stuff. $20 is guy stuff. Thank you, Don. I appreciate that immensely. So does Turbo. Love it. I'll buy more fabric paint. I started painting the Tukey outfit. I'm actually, now that I saw the Tukey costume, like now that I'm home, I wasn't as disappointed as I was by the pictures that my house sitter showed. Yeah. It looks smaller. It's actually pretty big. I don't even know if it would fit Tukey. And then the head, I had to paint the nose uh pink because it was yellow and then the eyes were just white so i gave them the you know the pink eyelids and the black eyebrow i guess yeah but yeah it's looking much better so keep a lookout for tukey tukey will be at uh hackamania hackamania.com promo code tukey there will be a live action tukey walking around special guest there will maybe some a uh, couple of special guest people We'll dress as Tukey. Chad. <clears throat> Chad. Mars gifted one B Dabbler Network membership. Thank you so much, Mars, for, you know, neurotically gifting one membership at a time. We appreciate <laughs> it. You have OCD. We understand. Delco Lou 199. Money that doesn't go to a goal. No, it doesn't. I actually was pissed off that I had the wrong time code for the Steel Toad thing because uh, the clip that I was looking for. It showed that he doesn't count $1 super stickers, $2 super chats, but five bucks, five bucks counts. And I, I, it's very odd, but, uh, you know, that's the way it goes when you're trying to reach the goal. We own all the rules, five bucks and over goes towards the goal. The DRWC show member for seven months, wife and I did straight kid stuff this weekend. Hashtag. Hashtag Glockcock. Yes, I uh, the DRWC show. I forget it stands for Drew something or I don't know. I don't remember. I am gonna yeah. Uh, I'll email you or email Tuki again, and we'll get you on the show to talk about having a nine millimeter uh, kidney stone come out of your dick. Because I'm very interested in hearing about that. Because nine millimeters is very big. It's ridiculous. Yes. For that to come out of your wiener, I really need to know more about it. Personalized vagina candle. Eight ounce natural soy wax candle sexy gift. Ugh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's so ugly. Look at that out, outie vagina. Or no, any clit. I don't remember. <laughs> but is that what he's talking about? Ray's going to put his dick in that thing? <laughs> Apparently so. Thank you, Orno, for sending that oh, over. He's going to ruin the candle. It's not going to be pretty anymore. <laughs> uh, Nimrob 2, Wendy is killing Tukey. Send help. Uh -oh. it's okay. 2K, maybe. Oh, 2K. She's killing 2K. I thought she was done. I got an email the other day that asked me to come on her last show. You know, because I get an email every night, every night. And I was like, uh-oh. Maybe I should try and find time to do this show, but I was very busy and I was like, something tells Tukey this isn't her last show and there will be more opportunities to do Wendy's show. So it's good to hear that Wendy is still doing her show. <laughs> she just sent me a link. Oh, God. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't tonight. We still have more show. We do. We do. We, we hit the goal, everybody. You know, 
We're hitting goals over here. We just keep winning, just like the good old steel toe. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Oh, raise gay, raise gay, raise gay, raise gay. Raise gay, raise gay. Raise gay, raise gay, raise gay, raise gay. Raise gay, raise gay. That goes on for another minute and a half, so I'm not going to subject you to that, but <laughs> that always makes me laugh. Fucking retard. Uh, Tiger Lily, thank you for being a member for eight months. We are officially in overtime. We hit the goal. Thank you very much. Without you emptying your wallets for Tukey, we would never have hit the goal. So give your all, give your all uh, yourselves a round of applause, a pat on the back, because without you, Tukey would not have your money. So none of this would be possible. Yes, having your money, right? That's that what right. you're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's all about having your money. All right. So the next half hour, we're going to talk about more ways to give us money. <laughs> like literally, <laughs> that's that is what you're watching every day. You're watching a show that literally says, "Hey, give us money, and we'll do more show to tell you how to give us money." Let's give us money. What the fuck? Has everyone got crazy? <sighs> What's going on? Imagine if I just did two hours of saying, give us money, give us money. Hey, come on. You're not doing your part. Come on, everyone. Empty those wallets. I don't care if your kid's sick. Come on. We need those five bucks. Nothing under five bucks or it doesn't count. PayPal, Streamlabs, uh, Nathan's bucks, whatever the fuck. Just give us money. <laughs> and then you give us the money and we're like, Phew, okay, we can chill out for about 30 minutes. But then we have to start talking about tonight's goal and the fact that you guys have to give us more money than I. Ah! It's reality without David Chandler around. It's homeless people who live in houses. It's very odd. Maybe they're squatters. Do we know? Was, wasn't that the name of their show tonight? It was like something like uh, squatters and uh, beggars. Something like that. But I, yeah pretty appropriate do we, do we know for sure that steel toe actually owns his house and he's not just squatting in some <laughs> stranger's basement <laughs> doing radio shows i wouldn't be surprised we, we, we're not sure about that but seriously it's like literally like a home it's a guy who used to be homeless who can't get rid of that homeless you know it's like you could take the homeless guy out of the streets but you can't take the you know the streets out of the homeless guy or whatever like you know they bring him in this house and like here you go this is what your job is now. Your job is to just do radio shows all day, every day, constantly about nothing. But he's like, oh, I'm just going to beg for money the entire time because that's, you know, that's what I always did in my regular life. So I'm just going to, you know, now I just do it on a radio show. Crazy. It's insanity. It keeps happening. Uh, Tiger Lily, member for eight months. Uh, Steel Toe is a bit. Want chat to beg April to come back. Oh, interesting. All right. That's yeah, I think that she's saying like as a bit, maybe. Yeah. Well, they're saying that she's saying that getting rid of April is the bit. It's like, okay, oh, oh. Idea, April, if we don't have you on the show, everyone's going to be asking, where's April? Where is April? And then we'll say, well, guys, I mean, April has to work because we're not making enough money. And then we'll say, but, you know, if you guys are empty your wallets a little bit, maybe we can get April back. Maybe if we all held hands and emptied our pockets and all chanted together, come back, April, come back, April. Well, remember to give that money because, you know, the chat alone is not going to help. It's mostly the money, but we'll try. We'll try the chat, too, you know, just for effect. But in reality, it's just about the money. So empty your pockets. Give us all your money, your Disney bucks, your uh, candies cards, your what the fuck, what other, your, your fucking Metro line cards, your fucking bus fare ticket. And maybe with that power of collectively giving us all your money, we can get April back. I like this theory, Tiger Lily. I like it. They're always looking to work. They're always looking to grift. The grifters are working the grift and working the grift to shoot the grift of the work. It's fantastic. Okay, are we caught up? Are you dead? Uh-oh, I lost OJ. He's gone. Where did he go? Where are all the super chats? I don't know where he left off. We're fucked. 
Oh, no, we're not. Tukey's Nana, $2. I tried to hold them in. I'm so sorry. No, that is okay, Nana. I love your farts. Don became a YouTube member. Thank you so much. Zach Hoffman, member for one month. Cardiff, F. Mary Kill, Grant, Tukey's dad, or Tukey's hand. He's not here. Cardiff is not here. This has always been a Cardiff-free show. We will always be a Cardiff-free show. No Cardiff. So I'm sorry. Don, member for nine months. Didn't you just become a new member? What the hell is that? What does that mean? Are there more than one Don? Who's pretending to be Don? Anyway, uh, Don, member for nine months. Death pool boss man. I say under a year. Oh, yeah, totally. There's no way this kid is going to last. At least streaming. Maybe getting kicked off of kick for a week will help him, but I feel like he's just jonesing. Someone get me a computer and 25 bucks, quick. I need to play some digital dice. Digital, digital war. Uh, OJ said his internet just crashed. No problem, OJ. Franklin Sheckler, $5. That guy's stuff made me laugh so damn hard. Bravo. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm proud of that one. Uh, normally, the guy's stuff is just you know random, just nonsense, and just saying, guy stuff. But this one, uh, I was motivated. And uh, thank you to my, uh, my Shuli Luigi for helping me out on that one. Uh, I like Rolling Stone, $2. Can you shout out Pat's ex, Lou Nieben? Lou Nieben. Can you shout out Pat's ex, Lou Nieben? Lou Nieben. I'm trying to get it. Lou Nieben. Does anyone else get it? I don't know what we're talking about here. Lou Nieben. Yes. Shout out to Lou Knee Bean. Louie Bean? Louie Bean. John. Uh, give me my money. Hacko Burrow, $2. Cletus World Order. Raise hell. Praise Dale. Yes. Thank you. Uh, here's Cletus' girlfriend, Myrtle Manis, $10. Thank you, Myrtle. Well, he done hit it now. Cletus just kicked a mule in the head. He's so mad. Oh, no, he's getting in that corn squeezins. It's going to be one of them nights, and that's a fact. Oh, I'm sorry, Myrtle. But, uh, you know, I hate Cletus. This is my first time meeting Cletus. And I think I hate him. But, no, he's fantastic. And uh, so is the wonderful Dr. Steve. Weird medicine with Dr. C, $5. Ray is an eggnog stick, so he doesn't understand the egg clips. Ah, oh, hacka hacka, gotcha. I understand. American Cupcake, $5. Like, why is Kate Meany cosplaying as Elise Edwards? Their cadence is, like, exactly the same. They both try to sound smart, but they're, like, not, you know? Yes. A lot of that, like, uh, what am I doing here? This is so dumb. But I'm going to come back tomorrow and the next day and the next night. And I'm going to do my own shows. This looks easy. And people just throw money at you. Oh, my God. But it's so dumb and so stupid. I hate it. Thank you, American Cupcake. Yes, you're absolutely right. We are in medicine with Dr. Steve again. $5. Oh, no. Now we have a effing talking candle powered by Raid Splooge. Yes, you're right. If Ray jerks off into that thing too many times, we're going to have candle diff. Or sex toy diff. Or something. Where's OJ's stupid laugh? He's gone. And Ralph is gone. Tukey's all by himself. Where's my Robin Quivers to laugh at me to make me feel funny? I stink. American Cupcake, $2. Jesus, Elise Edwards does look exactly like Tukey. I told you. Of course she does. What do you think, Tukey lies? Bob Riggs, $2. Raise a homo. That is all as you were. Thank you, Bobby. As you were. Domo Agro became a YouTube member. Thank you so much. I love you more than a friend. Red473, member for one month. Teach Ray sex ed on the next straight kid stuff. That's a pretty good idea, actually. Might have to do that. BYB, refund this super chat. No. Carl's Frosted Tips. Stut John was watching on Twitter. Trump24. Oh, he's a big fan. He's a big fan of Trump. Trump 2024. Trump Tukey 2024. BYB podcast. Don't read this super chat. Ah, I fucked up. Fucked up. What am I going to do? 
Johnny Rockwell, member for two months. Melon has made me digital ambassador at Hackamania. Oh, fantastic. What does that mean? Digital ambassador? And Tukey's the president of show business. What does that mean? Hands man, 199, collective skull. Skull! Uh, I'd rather play my karaoke of it. Maybe I'll play karaoke of uh, Collective Skull at the end of the show. Tuki did a uh, gel at the after party for uh, WATP. I just had to pull that up. Uh, I think it's on Kinky Locos. If you go to the Kinky Loco network, you can see this video before I play it at the end of the show, but I'm going to get it up there. So. I- Ah, there we go. All right, so yeah, at the end of the show, I'll play the karaoke. Thank you to everyone who sent their um, recordings of Tuki doing karaoke. I have a lot of different versions, and I have to uh, now edit those all together to make a music video, and we will be doing that. So thank you. Thank you all for sending those. I did get them. I'm sorry if I didn't uh, you know, reply to each one of you to thank you, but that's what I'm doing here. So thank you very much. Don, $5 deep inside of me. Yes, deep in Sadomi. Where is Sadomi? Maybe that's Minji? Is that Ray's friend Mingi? Minji? I don't know how to say her stupid name. But it's very, very possible. All right. We have one more dummy to talk about today. We've talked about many dummies. But we have not talked about this dummy in quite some time. Chad Zumak. Who thinks Ray is so stupid, so boring, doesn't know why anyone would watch Ray. So now he has decided to do a whole Ray show. And apparently he's done six or seven episodes of the show. It's called, it's very cleverly named, very original. Ray Da Vito Show. Get it? Ray Da Vito. Hacka hacka. Chad, when Stuttering John is using the same joke and he thinks it's genius, I would think about changing the name of my show. But what do I know? I only have about 800 people watching. And I know everyone on, on YouTube's like, no, you only have 587. Well, there's like 200 on Twitter, even though I have a feeling those numbers are bullshit. But anyway, we still have like 600 people. It's way more than Chad gets. Keep that in mind, because Chad has a lot of things to say about that kind of stuff. Like the fact that right now, Pat Dixon's over on Rumble talking to nobody. When he literally has the exact same numbers that Chad gets. Very funny. Very interesting. Uh, So let's get into it. Let's see Chad. The interesting thing about this is we're going to watch Chad watching the same episode of Ray where Ray had human Tukey, Elise Edwards on. So beautiful, just like Tukey. And uh, yeah, of course, Chad's doing a show on April Fool's Day. So like any professional comic, he's going to do some April Fool's jokes. Yay! Hit the like button, man. We're not fucking around. It's a Monday. It's April 1st. Got any good April Fool's jokes? <laughs> Ray's hilarious. <laughs> oh. Ray's a great comic. April Fool's. April Fool's. Thank you, Bill. Oh, he got me. Accepted gifted memberships. Son of a bitch. I thought that was real. I thought he really thought Ray was funny. You got me, Mud Shark, you son of a bitch. Ah, fool me once. Shame on Tukey. Or shame on you? No, I don't know. What is it? I don't know. I have to ask President Bush. He knew it. But yeah, uh, so uh, there, there's a little glimpse into the comedy that is about to bestow us all. Oh, so angry. All these shows are so angry. There's not a joke to be made in this entire broadcast. He does an hour and a half on Ray and how bad Ray is. And never once makes a fucking joke. It's ridiculous. Here's Chad talking about the Cool Kid Club. Because that is, you know, that is the most important thing to Chad. Who his friends are, where he's been, what he knows, 
what he's done. Meanwhile, he's another one who just streams from his stupid whatever living his kitchen nook. Where's Chad when he does his show? Is that like a kitchen nook? Or he's walking around Tampa Bay alone. It would be kind of funny if Chad streams doing his walk and talk. And then he bumps into fucking Joey C. That'd be fantastic. Two dummies doing a live stream. And still their collective audience would be nothing. It's fantastic. All right, here is Chad talking about the Cool Kids Club. All I know is that you. my religion. No, that's wrong. Hold on, sorry. Oh no, they're gonna play this now. Oh no, Chad has Chad has me. I fucked up. I fucked up. You fucked up. Tuki fucked up. Tuki fucked up. All right, here we go. Cool Kids Club. Love you here, man. They all love you. It's a great chat. We only keep cool people in the chat. We don't have weirdos and misfits. They can go hang out in Melton's chat. We 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 keep it cool. We have we have good, outstanding citizens, young urban professionals, taxpayers. <laughs> what the fuck was that again? Was that a joke? Urban young urban professionals and taxpayers. So Chad is saying young black people and white people watch his show. I'm assuming the taxpayers meant white people and young urban professionals. What is that? What is a young urban professional? I have no idea. But they're watching Chad's show. So that's fantastic, Chad. You have to know your audience. Especially when you have a $100 tier on your Patreon. Did you know that? Did you know there are people out there, allegedly, allegedly, that are paying Chad $100 a month on his Patreon? What does that get them, you might ask? Well, let's find out. It is April 1st, so that means I want to thank the month of uh, last month of all the $100 Patreon. I want to thank the whole month of April. Or no, I'm sorry. I want to thank the whole month of March. Thank you, March, for you know being there for us and existing. Because you were our bridge from February to April. So I want to be out there and I want to thank the month of March. Patreons that I had. And as of right now, I want to thank the month of... Uh, last month of all the $100 Patreons that I had. And as of right now, they're hanging in for the month of April. So thank you for the month of March and the month of April. And you too can be a $100 Patreon. Just go. Hi, OJ. You came just in time. Did you know that uh, Chad Zumach has a $100 membership tier on his Patreon? No. Worse yet, did you know that he claims people are actually signed up for it? No. Would you like to hear what a hundred dollar Patreon tier for the month gets you? Absolutely. And does does he tell us how many people are signed up to that tier? Oh yes, we will shame those people. Don't worry oh, about boy. it. Here All we right. go. Here's what you get from the Z-Man, the Mud Shark, Florida's 19th worst open micer for a hundred bucks a month. This is what you get. Go to patreon.com backslash sit down zoomock. And sign up for the hundred dollar tier. You're like, well, what's that get me? Well, I'm going to sign up for a hundred dollars for a month. I can promote whatever you want. Social media. Uh, you got a new product. Whoa! <laughs> so you're telling me, at any given, well, not any given time, but when you go live, I have the opportunity of up to a hundred and forty people could find out about my product. And then when the show is over, you'll immediately put it behind a paywall so no one can see it. I wonder if you signed up to if we can get him to promote Hackamania. Well, I cut that part out because it was boring, but he did say he has. Listen, I think if you give this fucking idiot a hundred bucks, he'll fucking do cartwheels all the way from Florida to your house <laughs> in Colorado. But he did explain that it has to be something he can stand behind. Like he will not, he will not uh, promote, uh, you know, if you're the king of Nambla or something, some shit, some bullshit. Mm. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about? So I think he would not 
uh, promote, you know, like promote mania, my yeah. shit. But you know, I'm never giving this fucking idiot a hundred bucks anyway. So, <laughs> but okay, let's. So that is one thing, one perk. That's great. You could literally have a hundred and forty something people if they catch it live. <laughs> hear about your product because, like we said, after that. It goes behind the paywall. We all know he has about 80 people behind that paywall, and I don't think they give a shit about whatever someone else's project is. Or right. product. product. You got a website. You got a YouTube channel. You need to get out there. You need eyes on it. Chad, I'm literally like three, I think I'm like 400 YouTube subscribers away from beating you. And I've had my YouTube channel for, you know, a little over a year or something. Barely a year, yeah. I, I don't I don't think you're helping anyone. I know you like to think that you brought over 11,000 subscribers or something to MLC. But this is, I mean, this is delusion. I mean, these delusions are just, but there are people buying it, according to him. So let's see, maybe you get a little more. Maybe, maybe we just spoke a little too soon, OJ. Okay. That's where it comes in. That's where it's great. And I'll give you a genuine promotion. Whoa. And he also does claim that he will send you a free Hackamania t-shirt. So you do get a t-shirt. For Any that. hot sauce? Uh, I think uh, maybe he did say he'll throw in some hot sauce if he had. I mean, listen, like I said, give this guy a hundred bucks. I mean, you literally like. We're talking about slave times, you know. Right. You know how we bought the uh, island of Manhattan from the Indians for twenty five bucks and some beads. Right. Yeah, we're looking at the same kind of negotiations here. <laughs> He's ready to sell anything for uh, some magic beans and twenty five bucks. Well, I mean a hundred bucks. I mean we have to, you know, we have to uh, count for inflation. So now sure. it's a hundred bucks and some magic beans. Sure. But uh, it's fantastic, Chad. You're doing it. We're all jealous. We're all jealous of your weekends. You're going, you're playing all these shows. You're going, you're, you're doing it. And now we're going to do it because these are the people who should be shamed for giving you a hundred bucks a month. Uh oh. And I have. God damn it! Why do I keep finding the Ray videos? I keep finding Ray instead of Chad. God damn it! They're I both stay. Cleveland, both two Cleveland idiots. Two Cleveland idiots. I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, but I want to thank the $100 sponsors that are still sticking around. Ken Mosca, David Chandler, Jared Thompson, Stu John, Twinkle Ho 99, Tucker Steve. Actually, we lost Tucker Steve. That's Oh, thank God. Tucker Steve came to your senses. <laughs> Tucker Steve is out. He's no longer giving Chad 100 bucks a month. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder how many messages he got from Chad. Oh, oh my God. Tucker Steve, what did I do? What did I do, Tucker Steve? <laughs> please, please, just tell me. I'll fix it. You don't like my hats? I'll wear different hats. I don't care, dude. <laughs> whatever you need, whatever you want me to do, please just don't leave. It's the one that bounced, but that's okay. Tuck Tucker Steve's the one who got away. Tucker Steve was uh, signed up for months. Randy P, Jack, Anthony, Craig T, Big Papa, and then the latest, Bob R. Who are these people? I've never heard, seen any of them in any chats before, ever. No. I mean, Chandler, Chandler, yeah. Yeah. And he's just crazy. We know that. He's just a maniac. He, he gives everybody money, yeah. Yeah, he's Santa Claus. They are your $100 sponsors and... Oh, and some someone made Chad this stupid thing, so he play, he makes sure to shout out the hundred dollar sponsors, so he can play this stupid thing. <laughs> so stupid! Awesome people. Ken Mosca, David Chandler, Jared Thompson, Stuttgart, Twinkle Ho, ninety nine, Randy P. <laughs> he still kept Trucker Steve because he can't edit it. He's just hoping <laughs> that these people stay on forever. Another Randy P. Randy P's on there twice. Did Randy P give two hundred dollars? Has, has Randy P lost his mind? Someone named Jack. Someone named Anthony. Craig T, the round-headed frat boy from Z one hundred. He gave Chad a hundred bucks. And Silk City Hot Sauce. What the fuck? Wait, Silk City Hot Sauce is paying Chad a hundred dollars for Chad to hawk. 
They're hot sauce. Now is that for a month? A hundred bucks? Yeah, a month. Holy shit! Right. So this is saying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's twelve names here. Two of them are on. Well, one of them is on there twice. So let's say it's eleven names, and then Tucker Steve is gone. So let's say it's ten names. You're telling me Chad gets a thousand dollars a month from just these people for literally nothing. When has he ever promoted any of these people's things except for Silk City hot sauce? <laughs> like, what is Anthony promoting? Come see Anthony. He's going to be at the mall buying shoes later today. <laughs> I mean, I know Tukey does the same thing. Like, I'm like, hey, I'll be here if you want to come say hi, you know, come hang out. Which I did go to Bucky's the other day, but it was so insanely packed and crazy. Pulling out a puppet and doing a live stream would have just been fucking mayhem and ridiculousness. Yeah. So I did not uh, broadcast from Bucky's, but I did go and I did put on Twitter that I was going to be there. You know, just in case anyone's in the area. Big fucking deal. Tuki, I'm, uh, you know, I hate to interrupt you, but I'm getting interrupted by Ray DeVito. Should I answer it? Yes. Speaker right. phone now. Ray, we're on, we're, we're on Tuki. Yes, I know. I just got home. I was watching it. Yeah. Back to, to clear some shit up. Oh, no. That video is me talk. That video of me in 2024 <laughs> is talking about Harry from 2020. That is not something that happened that day. I was talking about something that happened in 2020. So there you go. So yes, that's what's like. It makes it look like I was talking about something that happened on that exact day. No, I was talking about something that happened in 2020. Okay. So when they feel like this is Harry talking about something in 2023. That makes no sense because I was referencing something that happened when I first met her in 2020. So okay. yeah, quit fucking manipulating shit. You're not helping me, dude. This has not been a fun fucking time to me. Hey, tell me. I just got the video. Uh, hey, well, yeah, we're just playing the video, Ray. We're not manipulating anything. I didn't make the video. We didn't no, make that. You get it. You're making it sound like that's something where I'm talking about something that happened in 2020. I'm not talking about something that happened in 2024. Yes, we, but Ray, we didn't make podcast. we didn't make the video, Ray. We're we're just playing it. We didn't make make it seem like anything. Yeah, you did. You're like agreeing like, well, was the date right there? I wasn't talking about <laughs> something that happened that day. I was talking about something that happened in 2020. All right. When I first met Ask him her. if he's so, so angry he can Yeah, dude, dude my, this, this hasn't been fucking fucked for the last couple of weeks. I got fucking Brennan all over me about dumb shit and stuff and it's like what God, it, can people just write fucking jokes right can people just write fucking jokes i i don't think so God, ray damn it. no why did not. ray devito cross the road to kill yeah, a hooker Jeez. ray the people want to the... dude i'm, I'm fu this, this isn't funny anymore for me it's not fucking funny for me anymore this is stupid this is very very let stupid ray i agree talk. let him talk and you're supposed to be my fucking friend will you fucking yeah. What did I do, Ray? I agree. I'm disappointed as well, Ray. <laughs> I didn't... There's the date right there. Like you know, I, I don't think I, I. I don't think I said that. I don't, I don't know think, about that. I don't think I said anything about dates, right. Ray. Say I don't know about that. Great right. I don't know about that. I he think Ray's up? mad at me. Yeah, I think so. Oh, he's gonna kill you. He's gonna murder me. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't dress as a hooker on AI80. <laughs> Holy shit. You're God. the worst friend. Ever. I am. I don't know. I, I he looks mean, right. Just sitting here laughing at and enjoying the video. I guess I should have defended Ray. Ray, you know what? Let me defend Ray. Ray, those dates were not correct. It was all a sham. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's good of it is big of you to apologize. Ray, I was saying the same thing. I wasn't sure. What we were looking at in those videos, you heard me. I said it. I was like, I'm not sure what we're talking about here. And then OJ, he had the button. He was like, uh, that's because we're, the, the dates are there. And Ray's talking about it. And Ray's an idiot. Uh, I don't know what he's talking about there. I don't think that? I... Do you remember that, Ray? <laughs> I don't think I said that. I do. I heard him. I kept saying Ray's an, uh, Ray's an idiot. <laughs> and I was like. OJ, that's our friend Ray. Why well, I did call him an idiot. I did say that. 
Anyway, I'm with you, Ray. I'm very disappointed in OJ and his actions. Wait, you're the one that played the video. I might have to suspend OJ for a week with pay. Ugh. I'm harsh but fair. You are fair. That was fantastic. <laughs> what were we talking about? I don't know. All right, Ray. Now we're now we're trashing Chad. So, That's right, Chad Zumach. And again, Franklin Sheckler made that video. Again, it's a tasteless video. I think it's disgusting. I am Team Ray. I'm. I find it very disappointing that both OJ and Franklin Sheckler teamed up to disparage my best friend Ray Devito. <laughs> so, God, poor Jeez. Ray. Yeah, he is having a hard time though. Everybody hates Ray right now. Well, he should stand up for himself and say, hey, KB, fuck you. I don't need your fucking $9,000. I'll make it some other way in a year. I've been telling him that for, for a long time, Tuki. You, you know, he does not take advice. He doesn't take any advice. The stupidest of people can make $9,000 in one month if they really try hard enough. If they need, This is not life-changing money we're talking about. But Ray, and you know, just tell him, you know, I don't need your fucking money. I'll just do, you know, I'll do my own thing. I'll figure it out. Cannot let some other guy own you. Let Buschetti be owned. Kiss his shit. No one's looking to buy him. <laughs> the same retarded jokes over and over. <laughs> Bunch of dick fella, yeah, something. <laughs> how much? How much do we hear of this fake outrage? It's all fake outrage now. That's all we're doing. We are all listening to manufactured outrage. That's what happens when you do these shows every day with your wife or your cores or your green screen. But yes, Ray, don't worry about it. Ray, I, yeah, I, I, I mean, I know you want, I know you're a young man. You're a young boy with a dream. But I think Stefan, <laughs> is that Stefan? He says it. He says it all. Ray needs a real job. You need some security. You can still do comedy. You can still do it. I mean, look at look at Tuki. Tuki is a valued member in his community. He's the mayor of Dabbleville. He's respected by Spanish and blacks. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's insane. And he still finds time to do stupid shows making fun of idiots. I should be a real inspiration to you, Ray. Idi for idiots by idiots. Yes, a show about idiots for idiots by idiots. There you go. Idiocracy. That's what we're going to name this show now. It's now called Tuki's Idiocracy Idi today. <laughs> All right. Back to chat. Oh, it's retards. Uh, okay, so we showed the people who should be ashamed. Oh, okay. Speaking of Ray, this is perfect timing. Here is Chad's excellent Ray impression. Have you heard John, uh, Chad's Ray impression? It's Very pretty good. good. Yes, it's pretty good. It is. It actually is what I have modeled my ray impression on i will give chad credit i think he did come up with the ray impression but material is another story so here's here's chad someone said i think this is where they said do the ray impression but don't do the laugh do something else to oh my god i can't believe i fucking did it again i need to fucking delete these ray videos because i just keep picking the ray ones instead of chad what am i doing See, Ray, I like you more than Chad because I want to play your videos over. All right, here's Chad doing his Ray impression. Uh, justice for Sketty. Guys are gay. <laughs> uh, do your Ray impression more. Not just a laugh. Hey! 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 So there it is. You know how Ray is always going on and being like, Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Professional! Again, okay, if this was just a guy who was like, okay, I just started comedy, you know, I'm just doing some open mics. This is a guy who brags about being a professional comedian, and this is what he gives us in return. 
Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Why does he go? This is Ray. I'm saying hey. Ray DeVito. I'm Ray. Hey. Rhymes with Ray. All right, here's Chad being a jealous girlfriend with Ray. I think you can get a get a good idea of why. But uh, here's Chad, jealous girlfriend. Jim Florentine barely, barely knows Ray. <laughs> the only reason he knows Ray is through me, and that's a fact. He was my friend first. He's my friend first. <laughs> Again, another common quality that all these idiots have. We all know that John did the same thing with his friend Mike, who played poker with Anthony. And then became Anthony's friend more than oh, his right. friend. Yeah. Right? Wasn't his name Mike? I think so. He was my friend first. I introduced you. Now you guys play together without me. This is ridiculous. These are grown men. You don't even know Florentine. Have you ever even sucked his cock? <laughs> Could you pick out Florentine's cock in a cock lineup? I doubt it. I could. I totally could. Just give it a nice sniff. Like, yep, that's Jimmy. I can smell that anywhere. Old Spice and Kale. That's my Jim. <laughs> Fucking idiot. But they don't, they've never talked on the phone. They never hung out. Have you ever had late night conversations while lying on your bed, on your stomach, while kicking your legs behind you, talking to Jim about the funny bone? No, I have. I love your valley, valley girl impression of Chad. I don't know. It's so he has such a weird accent. He pronounces words so wrong. Like he says, compound media. Yeah. Compound. It's very calm over there. Compound. But yeah, I don't know. I, I just talk like this because you're all a bunch of losers. <laughs> Dorks. But yeah, have you ever had long, deep, passionate kisses with Jim Florentine? I have. Like a lot. I love him. It's just, he's speaking on behalf of Jim Florentine. He said, the only reason Jim Florentine likes me is because I'm a fuck up. Now, Jim's the big brother I've never had. What is the fuck? talks like this seriously especially at this age right i can see a 12 year old being like i love jim he's like my brother i never had a brother and i always wanted one <laughs> <laughs> these are these men are pushing is chad 50 yet or is he still 48 I I don't I, I don't think he's 50 yet but i mean he's basically 50 i mean yeah, come on basically these are 50 year old men yeah. In the real world, I mean, they should be retiring in 15 years, but they will not. I mean, right. Who knows if they will still be alive at this point? But yes, this is a 50 year old man talking about another man and his relationship with another man and how it makes this man angry and jealous because the other two 50 year old men are talking. What are we talking about? I've stayed at his place. <laughs> I've had holiday. I've been to uh, his family's holiday parties. Jesus. We made peanut butter and jellies together. Have you ever done that? Huh? I mean, we didn't buy hats together at Lids, but I mean, come on. Don't want to get too serious. I already had my heart broken by Kevin on that one. <laughs> He's so gay. He really is. I'm uh, friends with uh, yes. his brother, Dan. Oh, and his wife. I'm friends with his son. Whoa, Jesus! But Ray Bragger. <laughs> I'm friends with a minor. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. We talk about Fortnite and stuff. It's cool. It's fucking rad. I heard that that kid trolls him. <laughs> yes, he, <does>. <laughs> <laughs> he admitted it on, or uh, Jim uh, Jim admitted it on Jim and Sam. Yeah. But he's uh, but here's the funny thing is Chad admits in this very clip that 
all right, so maybe Jim did say he hangs out with me because I'm a loser, but that's not the only reason. <laughs> like he literally says it right here. Hey, Sal you the only reason jim florentine's friends with me because i'm a fuck up ray has no clue what the fuck he's talking about right now jim said on uh kumia he goes i like chad he's messed up i like him i like guys like that but that's not the only reason why we're friends you <laughs> dumb fuck <laughs> so he kind of validated uh, ray a little bit Jim did say I I, I, I like I like Chad because he's a fuck up. He fucks up. It's pretty much what Ray said. Jim likes you because you're a loser. You fuck up. It's not the only reason. Thinks my hair is cool. Told me my shirt was nice once. Can't be the only reason. Please tell me it's not the only reason. <laughs> I'll kill myself. I swear. Ah. Uh, all right, so like any jealous girlfriend, now Chad has to, you know, drill it into Ray. Hey, Ray, my boyfriend doesn't even like you. He was just trying to be nice. He thinks you're a geek. And oh, and I, I'm not throwing Florentine under the bus, but guess what, Ray? He finds you incredibly annoying. I just want to let you know. He doesn't know you well. And when he sees you uh, approach him, he quickly tries to figure out how to get out of it. That's the fact, Ray. So keep speaking on behalf of Florentine like you speak on behalf of me. Shut your mouth. You don't know what you're talking about. Go. Uh, wh whatever it is. Whatever happened between Chad Shut and I mouth. don't know the details. Now I don't give a fuck. But it's hilarious. Shut your mouth, Ray. Now I'm going to sit here and watch you talk for another five minutes. <laughs> That's the other thing. These guys, they sit, he sits and he doesn't really comment much on Ray. He just sits and watches Ray. Yeah. It's like ridiculous. It's like, why am I, am I, uh, I know this is the Ray duh veto show, but you have to say something every now and then, Chad. But yeah, good chunks of time go by where you're like, oh, did I accidentally just put Ray's show on? Oh, no, I am still watching Chad. Just quietly enjoy. Ray show very odd <laughs> you're you're a good egg uh oh yeah okay so this is uh this is when uh so now chad has a problem with ray saying the same thing over and over good egg he doesn't like when ray uses the term good egg because chad's friends made that up first you're not in the cool club ray you're not in the good egg club you're a bad egg you're not allowed to use that word we made that word up you're you're a good egg. Uh, I hate. So him. what goes on at this? I hate him saying "good egg" so much. The good egg thing, because Jim Norton used to say "good egg" all the time. Then uh, Florent, or I'm sorry, Kevin start doing it, and Ray being the fucking. I just say what Kevin says. He starts saying every calling everyone good eggs. It's just like, do you have an original bone in your body? Ray, can you come up with your own thing ever? Spoiler alert, Chad did not do the hype train during this episode. Uh, but yes, it's very <laughs> funny to hear him talk about someone else being unoriginal. And meanwhile, Chad is probably one of the most unoriginal guys podcasting. I mean, he has nothing. He literally has nothing. There's nothing here. Uh, all right. Oh, did you know Chad is in the works? We all know Chad is building a new studio, correct? <laughs> yes, that's been going on for a while. Oh, give him time, OJ. Stop rushing the man. <laughs> you can't rush genius. But uh, Chad has given us an uh, an update that something new will be included. I'm assuming when the new studio is ready, because I had no idea that he even had this plan in the works. Hmm. All right, let's go to the phones. I got to get that set up too. I want to bring in phone calls. And then just silence. Can you imagine this dummy taking phone calls? No. It's going to be fantastic. I can't <laughs> wait. Tukey's blocked. So Tukey can't fucking write anything in his stupid fucking chat. So the uh, idea that we can change phone numbers constantly and call this fucking lesbian. It's fantastic. I can't wait. 
It's fantastic. Is that a, is the, does the mouse pad have Bluetooth? Are you able to connect your phone calls through the mouse pad that you purchased? I know that was a big investment for the new studio. <laughs> I wonder how Chad's going to set up phone calls. Like, like I have somewhat of a brain when it comes to this stuff. And getting the calls figured out was the biggest pain in the ass. Even now that we have a good system with phone calls, it doesn't even work all the time. All right. It's going to be fantastic to watch him struggle with that. So please, yes, take calls, uh, Chadley. We will very much be looking forward to that. Wow, this is a huge overtime. Thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out with us on this fine Tuesday evening or Wednesday morning, I guess, wherever you are. It's fantastic. Uh, we have a couple more clips here. Chad, so before we saw that Chad was pissed off that Ray keeps using good egg because his good friend Jim Norton used to use it and Kevin has used it. Did you know that Chad is the one it's the guy who introduced the dabble verse to the word work? No. <laughs> Me neither, but he takes credit for it. Because oh, why not? We'll give this one to you, Chad. If you need credit for something, we understand, Chad, because you know you're not making any jokes, you're not making any interesting content. So if you need this credit. We'll give it to you, buddy. Chad introduced the word work to this universe. What was the work? I was on with... You know what bothers me now? Is I'm the one who started talking the work, bringing up the work, because I got it from wrestling. That's what they say in wrestling. It's a work. Oh. And now Ray's saying it all the time. Everyone's saying it. It's driving me insane. It's a work. It's a work. It's a work. It's a work. So what's a work? What's a work? Jesus Christ. What are we doing here? Yes, what are we doing here? <laughs> These big batches of dead air. It's compelling when people like Ron Bennington, you know, let a little dead air go. But Chad, when you do it, we're just like, oh shit, he's got nothing else. He's got nothing left. <laughs> he froze. He has nothing. Was well, fantastic. Yes. Yes, Chad, we understand that uh, you got it from wrestling. This whole community would never have thought of that word. There's no wrestling fans in this fucking <laughs> obese, on the verge of everyone being diabetic community that we would, you know, we needed you to introduce the word work. You mark. I will. Yeah, I'll give him that. I, I, I We were using the word work before, Chad, but... He definitely popularized it. Yes, I will give it. I will give it to him. Yes, uh, Fenton Mully, Ron and Fez said work all the time. Yes, and OJ's right. We we said work from the very beginning, but again, we would never like try to take credit for it. So stupid. no, like, who cares? And I've even said I hate that people use it too, but it's all I only hate it because people like John use it, and he has no idea what he's even he, what he was saying in the beginning. And that's probably what Chad is saying at the same time. But now that I know it bothers Chad, everyone keep using the word work. <laughs> I love it. It's a work. Work him into a shoot. Or shoot him into a work. I keep calling know. Chad a work. Yeah, Chad, Chad you're a work. You're a work, brother. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so here is Chad talking about how Pat Dixon has no one watching him over on Rumble when literally – Chad probably had about 140 something live people watching this, which is literally like the same amount of people that Pat Dixon gets. So, Pat, Chad, if Pat Dixon has no one listening to him, you also have no one listening to him. But you have no one listening to you on YouTube. He has no one listening to him on Rumble. We can understand no one listening to you on Rumble. All right. hello, hello, everyone on Rumble. Uh, hello, all two of you. Uh, so here is uh, here is Chad talking about Pat Dixon and that he talks to no one because he's an idiot. Chad. Chad's the idiot, not Pat. Your boy Pat Dixon talked about you for about an hour on Rumble last night or the other night. Awesome. Cool. Where nobody's watching. Pat, talk about me all day on Rumble. Please, all day. Do a whole show about me on Rumble. No one's watching. No one cares. You're not on anyone's radar, Pat. Nobody. Nobody's talking about you, Pat. Nobody. I'm talking about you right now because of this. But after Hackamania, 
What else, Ray? What else you got, Pat? What else is in the what other gigs are coming up for you? So that is his feelings on Pat and the fact that Pat is talking to no one, but like I said, literally the same numbers. I mean, we're talking about maybe a difference of, you know, tens. Right. I mean, I mean, Chad, like you're you you are also talking to no one. You know that, right? I mean, in, in your your world tours that you're doing, you're doing tours of Florida. It's very impressive. We're all very impressed. At 50 years old, you're still opening up for all your successful friends. We're all very jealous of you. <laughs> like, like seriously, right? <laughs> Essentially, like, yeah, that's that's what he's doing. Like, if you've been doing comedy so long at that age, wouldn't you like be expecting to, you know, headline yourself? And not have to rely on all your more successful friends to get you work. Isn't it embarrassing that you know for over twenty years this is this is where you're you, this is it. You don't you don't go anywhere else from here. I mean, I don't think you're Rodney Dangerfield. I don't think you're you know one of these guys who started out late. It's over. It's just this is it. This is your life now. You will talk to your computer for about one hundred and forty people. You'll constantly check and make sure you'll check and see. Oh, someone sent me a Venmo. No. Oh, wait. Yeah, someone did five bucks. Yay! Like, <laughs> insane. Like, who cares? Like, have I ever said, oh, I'll let Tuki check my Venmo? Do, 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 do. I mean, the worst we ever do is say, hey, are we caught up? Right. Or, hey, let's do some super chat. Like, when has I, like, when, imagine we've, we've done three hours of a show and we've probably talked about us making money. I don't know, 30 seconds at the most. Right. These other shows, they literally are out there. That's the whole show. That's the whole point of their show. Yeah. It's it is the most money. And it's so obvious. And I don't know why they don't see that less is more. But they all think more is more. And I have to keep going on. And I have to keep because the money's the money's never gonna run out. This is gonna last forever. It's ridiculous. How about put some effort into your show instead of putting effort into trying to get as much money out of people as you possibly can? But whatever. Tukey digests. What does Tukey know? He's stupid. Tukey can't make a living at this. Tukey's jealous. I'm just jealous of Chad. Dude, I think I would hate Tukey if we went on every no single shit. day. I would so get sick of it. No shit. I'm sick of it right now. <laughs> we do it for one hour or for one time a week. We do three hours today. Too much Tukey. Way too much Tukey. All right. Here is um oh, here's more Florentine jealousy. And then we'll get into uh this nice little uh piece of information we got yesterday about Chad. Because you know, he he's one of these guys, oh, Hackamania is a failure. WATP and Largo was a failure. These guys can't sell tickets. These got no one wants to see these guys at their shows. These guys are all losers. But first, before we get to that, more Florentine jealousy by crazy ex girlfriend Chad Zumach. Like Florentine calling uh, telemarketers and doing prank phone calls, like that's a prank. That's like just yeah. silly fun. It's not hurting anyone. Yeah. But why is he always bringing up Florentine now? Like he, he's constantly bringing up Florentine these days. They're not friends. I, Florentine doesn't even have his fucking phone number. Like, why is he always bringing up Florentine? It's kind of odd. Yeah, it is. It is Ray, odd. Go make your go make your own friends. Go, it's ridiculous. Go make your own friends. This is literally watching eight-year-old boys. Fight with one another. I love it. OJ, tell me this will never end. I don't think it's going to. Not until we all die. Oh, I know. You know, Cabby has died. I know. Who's next? I mean, how long can these fatsos possibly live? <laughs> like John and Chad. How long? All right, so here we go. Here is now Chad gloating about how Hackamania can't sell. Again, we're looking for a bigger venue because tickets are selling very well. 
But again, Hackamania is a failure. And no one is going. We can't sell tickets. This is a fact from Chad. This is hilarious. Chad couldn't even get booked on Hackamania. Ray got booked, but you did because you. Oh my God! Do you think for two seconds I give a fuck about that shit show? Mm-hmm. You're out of your mind. I do real gigs, paying what? gigs, hmm? sold out gigs. I don't have to go do gigs with Pat Dixon, a puppet, and Ray. And when you don't know what you're making. Say my name, Fatso. You know what I always ask? What am I making? Ray has no clue. Yeah, because you're you're dying. You need to know what you're making. Some of us don't care because some of us are in it for the fun. But yes, I do understand that Ray DeVito needs to make a living at this. Pat Dixon needs to make a living. Earl Skakel needs to make a living at this crap. But there are, you know, there are some of us who are just doing this for the fun of it. And they're, everyone's going to make a little bit of money. Don't be so worried. You're 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 selling out shows everywhere, Z Man. And he's acting like he didn't. He, he he wouldn't work. It's beneath him to work with a puppet. But didn't he reach out to Tukey just like a month or two ago? Yes, he wanted Tukey to. Uh, he wanted Tukey to come up with an idea for him and Tukey to do, so we can throw a monkey wrench into the Dabbleverse and get everyone talking. And I was like, no, I don't feel like working for free for you. Like, he's okay. He's okay getting other people to work for free for him. But when people work for free for someone else, they're stupid. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's just it's just stupid. Like, he has, he's just delusional. Like, the, like, I don't know. Does he think he sold out those shows with Nick Swartzen? Like, those shows were already sold out. Nick Swartzen just had to find someone, you know, who could I guess tell jokes? Right. Like some sort of jokes. Like he's not looking for the, you know, a thoroughbred of talent when he's picking Chad Zumach to open a show. I think that's pretty safe to say. But again, Chad, you are doing it. I will say that. I am not a stand up. I've never claimed to be a stand up. I'm an idiot who does a puppet show in his basement, in his mom's basement. Oh God, I'm a loser. It's right. Chad's little Chad is right. Some of the biggest losers are going to be at that thing. Big yes. time. I don't want no part of it. No part of it. Have fun, dude. We are. Here's Ray. This is what Ray's all about. Hold on. Okay. Here's Ray. Ray's one of these losers that no one cares about. But here we go. Here's my show. My hour and a half show about Ray. All right, but this is interesting. What if I told you that Chad currently has a show that isn't selling? Really? Yes. And it's online. And I guess everyone can get it or can find out information about it. Because like I said earlier, while you're looking for a discount on your Jiffy Lube oil change, why not pick up a set of tickets to Chad Zumach's show on Groupon? Yay! What? Yes. Chad has a show that is selling tickets on Groupon. And Chad claims he was not even aware that he uh, said yes. He forgot that he said yes to this show. Watch this. Okay, hold on. Time, time out. Chad Zumach live at the... Boca Black Box 2.0, April 19th. Many tickets still available on Groupon Hacking Me. You know what's hilarious, Sealer Killer? I know you don't like me, but no. I'm so glad you... I completely forgot I agreed to do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I completely forgot about that. Mm-hmm. So I understand you're trolling me, but you actually helped me. Because I got to put this in my calendar. I forgot I agreed to that. Professional comedian. Get your tickets on Groupon. Get your Groupon tickets. This is the guy who's giving shit to everyone else who's putting on their own shows, like Carl and Melton. Oh, these guys can't sell. These guys can't sell tickets. They can't sell tickets. Well, John, I mean, we're uh, stupid. <laughs> How come you're not advertising your show that's on Groupon? I'm sure it's a buy one get one free deal, huh? 
Perhaps we'll have to go. Can you actually look on Groupon and, and search Chad Zumok? Let's see. Well, let's see. Let's and see I'll play it. Yeah, though, show me. Uh, share the screen when you're ready. And uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to pull another clip. This is Chad. He doesn't give a shit that his show is on Groupon. That's cool. That's cool, dude. Can you imagine if WATP or Hackamania was giving out Groupon deals? Groupon. Who uses Groupon? Old ladies use Groupon. Is this Chad's demo audience? Old ladies who use Groupon? But it doesn't matter because Chad doesn't care, obviously, in this next clip. Polka Black Box. Polka Black Box, April 19th. Is it on, is it on the website? Sorry. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I know like you're trolling, but you actually helped me. Hold on. Thanks, dude. This is a uh, black box. Silence. Let me check. Silence is golden. This is it. We're we're now part of Chad's booking team, I guess. Just waiting. He's going to check and make sure he's booked for that day. Uh, and here we go. Last clip. Chad isn't bothered by any of this. You're all just fucking losers. Fucking dorks. I got my Groupon ticks for the Black Box 2.0. Can't wait. Go get them. That's true. Go get them. Go get them. Go buy Groupon. Buy any tickets. Who gives a fuck? You think that bothers me in the slightest? You're wrong. You're wrong. I never said I was a... Oh, damn it. Did I not get that whole clip? So that's when Chad says, I never said I was a draw. Again, wouldn't you think someone doing comedy for 20 years who's in their 50s or pushing 50? I'm sorry, Chad. I know you're 48. I know you're not 50. Shouldn't you be, you know, somewhat of a draw? No? I think Tukey's a little bit of a draw. A little bit, for sure. A little bit. I know people who came... To Florida, they drove by themselves just to see Tukey. I know that people are coming to Las Vegas just to see Tukey. It's ridiculous. Again, Tukey's whole existence was to prove that Tukey could outdraw and outperform professional comedian and Florida's 19th worst open micer, Chad Zumach. And we're doing it. Yeah. I'm, All right, I'm That's not it. seeing. Uh, I'm not seeing that for the Boca Black Box for, for Chad. Groupon? No, not even for Chad performing there. Oh no! What about Boca Black Box 2.0 or something? Maybe yeah. Okay. He it said 2.0 or something. All right, location Florida. Chad. Uh, Chad Zumick. Oh, wait, I think I found it. Yay! Let's see. Trending deals. Uh, I can go adventure diving. Go. It's not, it's, free. yeah, it's not, it's just an on the upcoming events. It's not on, I don't see it on Groupon. Oh, really? You can't see, uh, it doesn't tell you how many tickets there are. Oh, maybe it's sold out. Easy one, two, three. Makes a good point. There it is. Maybe it's sold out. I'm from four minutes. I'm from four minutes in the past. It's okay, Tuki. We believe in you. Thank you, Jeremy. I don't know what that means. But okay. <clears throat> we'll have to keep an eye on that. If anyone is in Florida, in Boca, and will be at that show, we would love to get a report. Find out exactly, you know, exactly how sold out it is. Maybe give us a little uh, sample of uh, Chad's new set, I guess, because I'm sure he's been doing his new set, right? Because we heard the old set from Atlantic City. And boy, did that stink. Stinkaroo. 
But uh, like we said, Chad claims he knew he was going to be recorded. So why do his best stuff? Why give the audience something good when you can give them shit? It's fantastic. So Chad's going to be there the 19th and the 20th. Yes, that's what it was for. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it doesn't. I don't see it. I I can't find it on Groupon. Bummer. Yeah, but I tried. All right. Uh, where were we? I think Northwest Ken was where we drew, left off. Northwest Ken, two dollars. Just got off work. Is this live? Yes. If you're still watching, this is live. Northwest Ken. Did you do some super chats when I was gone? Yes. Or? Yeah, I got everything. The last one I did was deep in sodomy. But I, yeah, I picked up when you were gone. Uh, where is this? Oh, Tukey, say uh, J. Wolfenstein, $2. Thank you so much. Tukey, say my name, please. Hacka, hacka. Yay! J. Wolfenstein. I love you more than a friend, J. Wolfenstein. J. Wolfenstein, $10. Tukey, you don't understand. You sign up and get him to promote your competition. Then you promote his promotion and you ruin their business for the low, low price of $100. It's a steal, <laughs> literally. Yes. That sounds like good fun logic. 100 bucks a month. The nerve. No, I think Tukey has a $100 Patreon tier, but I literally say you get nothing extra. You get the same thing a $5 person gets. But people were bugging me to put a bit more tiers to donate. I, and I was like, well, I, I don't know what I can offer. So here, I'll put bigger tiers, but you don't get anything. <laughs> Guess what? No one signed up for any of those tiers. They asked me for bigger tiers, and then no one signed up. But who gives a <laughs> shit? Jay Wolfenstein again. Thank you for $2. Dear Ray, nobody cares. <laughs> Hands man, thank you for the two dollars. OJ is innocent. Tukey is a turncoat. Right. Damn. Innocent of what? Ray. Oh, oh Ray. No. The Ray segment. Ray was, called and got all yeah, mad. No, no, I was on Ray's side with that one. I was very disappointed in you, OJ. You're supposed <laughs> to be an OJ's or uh, Ray's friend. Very disappointed that you would decide. He, he's if he's still listening. Yeah, yeah. Tom Tukey. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I have your back. I have your back. <laughs> Wow! Do you think I should, friend. Do you do you think I should touch up real Tukey and make his nose and eyes pinker? No. no. Yeah, I don't think so either. But I was just looking at that. I could do that. No, I don't do that. I think that would fuck up Tukey. Jay Wolfenstein, two dollars. If Ray works hard, one day he can be a puppet. Yes. <laughs> uh, I hate that he's all pissed off. It'll be fine. Ray, you're fine. We love you. Like I said, tell Kevin Brandon to go fuck himself. Just it's not fair. It's not nice the way he's treating you. Kevin would respect him more. Yes. He would go, oh shit, I can't just shit all over this guy. Ray, take my piss. Take my piss in your mouth, Ray. Because that's what you're doing. No, no, Kevin. I won't let you piss in my mouth anymore. Even though I love the taste and it's very warm and comforting. <laughs> but I will not let you piss in my mouth anymore. Oh, now you've done it, Ray. You've made me really mad. I'm going to piss it. Oh, no, I can't piss in your mouth, Ray. You've stood up for yourself. What's going on? I'm a fucking idiot. I can't pee now. Oh, no, I'm melting my piss. My wiener doesn't work. What are we doing? Uh, skanky lizard. Oh, thank you for the 50 bucks. Godspeed, cabbie. My donation goes to the TWO, FKB, F the Pud Shark, and F the Knight Turbo 400 Maker. Justice for Sketty. Yeah, I wanted to keep that Justice for Sketty in because I know it drives Chad crazy when people write that. Thank you, Skanky Lizard. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. You are a beloved chatter. I love you more than a friend. <clears throat> but yeah, this, is, uh, this whole world is crazy. This whole it's demented it's all demented there, there's probably there's probably a not a day that goes by where i question what the hell am i doing what mm -hmm. are we doing mm -hmm. but it is fun though it is but watching grown men 
like literally own other grown men <laughs> and those other grown men are too afraid to be like no fuck you you don't own me <laughs> like just because i do your show like and you give me a couple a couple bucks like i'm supposed to you know suck your dick every day like i don't i don't get it like aren't i like you know what i mean it's so weird it's so weird and then his then the whole show that ray like really wants to be on it's just a show of a guy who talks and complains and tries to be angry at things and people just throw money like think about the whole reality of this who could have seen entertainment going to this you know what I mean? Like in any shape or form. Never. But we, love, we love you all. Keep doing it. Keep giving to the old Tuki Toe. Streamlabs, PayPal, Venmo, YouTube, Patreon. Your mother's, your grandmother's house. <laughs> Sign over the deed to Tuki. You have a sick relative? Perhaps convince them to put Tuki in their will. Oh, speaking of which, Tokyo Glow, I owe you an email. I will send you an email. Tokyo Glow was the lovely lady who... Uh, oh, that made the dolls. jack-off dolls, yeah. Yeah, she made the jack-off dolls. She sent me an email, and it was like... Uh, it had a lot of corrections in it. It was like, first of all, I'm an old bag, not an old hag. I guess I called her an old hag. <laughs> and she's like, I'm an old bag, not an old hag. I was like, oh, no. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll send you an email, Tokyo Glow, and then uh, I hope you don't mind me reading your emails uh, once I talk to you. But yes, I'm very fascinated in learning more about you, and thank you again for the dolls. Yeah, really cool. Jay Wolfenstein, ten dollars. I'd like to take a moment to thank Chad Zumach. What? I'm currently sending money to a puppet to have my stupid joke read on the internet, and somehow I'm not the biggest loser between the <laughs> two of us. Thank you, Jay. Very true. You're not. You're a winner. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a winner. It's fantastic. You are a winner. Soviet skunk, $2. Come to the snooty fox, Tuki. We'll get down. Snooty right. fox. Where's, Where's that? Snooty fox. Is that in Vegas or in Denver? Either way, let's get down. Does that mean we're sucking each other's dicks? Is that a strip club? The snooty fox. I've never heard of it. Maybe. Mason in Portland, a.k.a. Portland Shane Gillis, $10. See you at Hackamania, Tuki. Your best friend, Joey C., will be there, too. He's very excited to see you again. Yes. I'm very excited to see Joey C., too. But Joey C. understands that he was offered tickets to the event, right? Like, he wasn't offered plane tickets. Right. He's not going to get there. Yeah. I mean, how are they? How is that going to happen? But I mean, uh, I would love to see it. I would love to make, you know, see Joey there. It'd be fantastic, but I'll believe it when I seize it. You know. Oh, it's a strip club in Colorado Springs. I know nothing about the strip clubs in Colorado Springs. The Snooty Fox. Uh Unidabler, <laughs> member for seven months. Joey contributed to Cabby's passing. R.I.P. Cabby, FJC. That's, that's the rumor. That is the rumor. I heard they went to the snooty fox. And he suffocated in a big pair of titties. That's what I heard. Allegedly. Allegedly. WSX, $5. $5 for the fun. Thank you, WSX. I think you're fun. Nah. You're probably boring. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Kel Naris, $5 to Chad. Good night, Hulkamaniacs and jabroni marks without a life that don't know it's a work when you work a work and work yourself into a shoot marks. Hulk Hogan. That's fantastic. Thank you, Kel. You said it all, brother. What you gonna do, Chad, dude, when I see you in Tampa in front of Hogan's hangout and you're not buying a $500 signed belt of the Hulkster dude? You know they had Hulkster trunks that you could get signed. I'm I'm sure. I, I mean, I would imagine he's just pimping out everything of his ten dollars smells. You could <laughs> smell them for ten bucks. <laughs> Can't touch, but you could smell. Someone else, you know, touches them and puts them in your face. 
But uh, that's it. Are we done? Yes. My God, have we given you a show? Tuki is back. Tuki's back from Largo and San Antonio. I did actually reach out to Lorenzo on Twitter the last day I was in San Antonio. I feel bad that I didn't realize that he was in San Antonio. I forgot all about that. I'm sure you wouldn't have hung out anyway. But yeah, he said he had work. Mm. It's fantastic. Kelly Riddle, thank you for the $2. Sing some lag wagon, Tuki. Love you more than a friend. Well, you will isolate, alienate. And uh, that's about it. I don't know. I can't sing. Sing lag wagon songs. No one knows <laughs> lag wagon songs. Uh, Jay Wolfenstein, $2. I was told there would be orange juice. No, that's Sunday. OJ in the morning. Catch OJ in the morning on Sundays on Adam Noxious John. And uh, check us out Saturday morning at Be Dabbling Live. I don't know what we'll be doing, but that's pretty par for the course. I usually don't know what we're doing until Friday night. Thankfully, crazy shit always happens here in the Hackverse. John's going to be on Howard Stern on Thursday. Right. And he didn't even talk about it yet today. And I did, I will admit, I fell for it for a couple minutes. Dumbass. Well, I just had signed on and saw that as soon as I tuned into John, I saw that he said that. I was like, holy shit, this can't be real. I, I mean, that was the first thing I said to myself. This can't be real. But I did buy it for a minute. I, I, I'm not going to lie. He literally would not talk about anything else if that was true. Like, he would literally have a two-hour show just talking about that. That's true. But instead, he went, hey. Bob Boo and Howard want me to come on and explain this whole dabble verse thing. Oh, yeah, and talk about Cabby. But uh, hey, uh, we're going to go on on Thursday. <laughs> Carl stinks. Like, then he just went back on to his whole thing. Wow, can you believe Shuli? Man, what a loser. <laughs> Man. And Ray DeVito. I mean, come on. Don't get much dumber than that. Like, this little, this is John's show. But, like, yeah, seriously, if he was going on Stern, he would have talked about it for the literally five hours. But yeah. it was just like a little throwaway thing. Right. Oh, by the way, I'll be on Stern on Thursday. Has Howard Stern even worked on a Thursday in the last fucking five years? Yeah. I don't even know his schedule. Uncle Jack, thank you for being a member for three months. I'm late. Can we start over and send a link to Ray? Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's just start over and send a link to Ray. My God, we gave you over an hour of overtime because we love you all more than a friend thank you all for your generosity as always again we are doing this for the fun of it the super chats the memberships the uh patreon subscriptions all that kind of crap it's all just gravy on top of our ice cream yes i use brown gravy on my ice cream don't knock it until you have tried it oj is there anything you want to promote Besides your channel and your show on Sunday mornings? Nah, be dabbling live this Saturday morning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll figure it out. Hackamania.com, get your tickets and use promo code Tukey. Show them that Tukey is a draw, that you want to come and hang out with Tukey. Telling you it's going to be an awesome time. We're going to have a lot of fun. And uh, I'm going to leave you now with karaoke from Largo I had Dr. Steve's version but I don't know what I did with it so I'm sorry Dr. Steve but I'm going to play Kinky Loco's version Kinky Loco from the great Kinky Loco network check out his channel surfing series I believe that's what it's called channel surfing with Kinky Loco or something like that Kinky Loco network Kinky Loco network some crap some grift just like the rest of you. All of you. But I love you all more than a friend. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. John's mom's box. Yay! <laughs> Whoa! All right, let's see how this goes. Tip your bartender. <laughs> Here we go, Dr. Stick.
Dr. Death is in the house. Woo! Get the fuck up for two years. Woo! 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 He's gonna kick it in a second, I promise. <laughs> Sit, Eugene, sit. Good dog. Thank you, dang lizard. And that's the end of my show. Donk.